You know what's better than talking about food? Even more food. Of course, you're the one that can't stop talking about food, you piece of lard. Hey man, I may not be built like an orange like Donnie, but food is amazing. Food's amazing to the point where we made a lot of different tier lists, talking about snacks, drinks, and even fast food places. So I thought it would be a fantastic idea to compile all of our food tier list videos into one. All of the original videos will be in the description. And we had a lot of special guests like Kanye West, Snoop Dogg, Kermit the Frog, and a whole lot more help us make the list. I never want to be in the same VC as Kanye West again. He's a troubled man and fake news. You want to say that type of disrespectful shit to my face, you fat ass? Oh, what's good, Kanye? We got to get faded again soon, brother. Get the hell out of my VC, Kanye. I don't want you here and... and Ain't nobody want you here either, you puta. Get out of my VC, you spray tan freak. What the hell? Who invited this rat? I did, since he actually tells the truth. Now, now, let's all get together and solve our problems. Oh my God, is that Dr. Phil? I am a huge fan man. I've always wanted to be on your show. Yes, it's me, George, but I have plenty more people where that came from to roast Donald Trump and put him in his place. Oh, yay, who did you invite? Trump's presidency is like a dumpster fire that just won't go out. Donald's tweets are like a window into the mind of a petulant child. I'm about to beat your ass, Donald, if you ever disrespect me you again. Know, you know, you're fat ass. Trump, frankly, I'm about to whoop your orange ass you in a Donald second. Donald Trump called me fat when he is the I don't big care. ass meat. Kermit beat his ass. I don't care. He's a dumb man. I'm going to beat his ass out of here right now, Trump. I don't know why I'm even here. Can I go and beat his ass? I'm going to beat his ass. Why did I invite this many people? Hey, Donald, are you zesty like me? Because we can go in the back and do something for me. Why are we all here? Can we please shut up and get out of here? Aren't we supposed to show the tier list compilation have you guys seen obama around he's usually here and he didn't text me that he'll be gone he left me in the dark too but i'm sure he'll join vc soon michelle is probably forcing barack to do the dishes since he always complains that she never does them that's kind of fucked up man but then again the dishes won't do themselves i don't know why his ass just doesn't hire a maid to do the dishes probably because he has respect unlike your egotistical ass whatever i'm just gonna be munching on these chips watching anime while we wait for barack you can hear it, dumbass. Turn that shit off or mute yourself. Ooh, wait, was that Hunter Hunter? Fuck up, Sleepy Joe. And yes, it was George Ivanka put me onto this show, and it's actually not half bad, especially since it's Japanese. Yeah, you should definitely watch it, Joe. His old ass will fall asleep watching the intro before the show even gets to start. I may be a sleeper, but at least I'm not a weeb like you both. But what chips were you munching on there, Donald? Oh, I'm killing an entire bag of Lay's right now, and let me tell you that these chips are phenomenal. Be more specific, Donnie. The barbecue, cheddar or sour cream and onion Ooh, Lay's? Ooh, sour cream and onion is bussin'. I'm eating the only correct flavor there is with Lay's. Classic. I'm actually surprised that your fat ass doesn't like every Lay's flavor there is. Salt and vinegar and sour cream and onion are definitely the best. Been a what? Better watch it when Obama hops in here. What other chips do you boys like, though? I'm more of a spicy guy myself, so I f*** the Takis and even my Secret Service men like them, too. My old ass would be blasting heat on the toilet if I ate shit like that. But I keep a huge 40-ounce barrel of cheese balls on my desk right Holy here. Holy shit, that's so many cheese balls. But I'm not surprised since I know you love stuff in your face with balls. Haha, <laughs> good one, Donnie. He was with Obama in the White House for eight years. So they definitely spent a lot of time together, if you know At what least I mean. I didn't serve my term for eight years with a guy named Dick Cheney. We all know you loved having Dick being there at every moment with you. <laughs> Yo, what's up, boys? How are we feeling tonight? What's good? It's your boy, Snoop Dio, motherfucking Double G. Hey, it's my boy, Snoop Dogg. What's up, man? How are you? Oh, uh, Snoop Dogg. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, hey, great. It's goddamn Snoop Dogg. What's up, y'all? I just got back from blazing it with Obama. He's faded in a hole right now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You weren't supposed to tell him, bro. Now, what if they want to hit? We don't got any more Sleepy Joe OG left. Uh, Sleepy what? OG. It's my new strain. It's called Sleepy Joe OG. You won't even remember what country you're in when you get faded off this shiznit. Oh, great. This senseless pothead talk here is the last thing I need to ruin my anime and chips. Uh, so wait, did you say chips? Can you give me some? Haha, <laughs> my nigga Obama has the munchies. No, you can't have any of my lays. They're only mine. Go have Michelle bring your lazy ass some. You know what, Snoop and Obama, before you got here, we were talking a lot about chips, and I was thinking... We should rank the best and worst chips out there, kind of like how we ranked soda yesterday. Sounds like a chill time, but Obama's going to be fiending for chips if we keep talking about food. All good. I texted Michelle to bring me chips and guacamole, but what chips do we have first to rank? Uh, the regular Cheetos, I see. Now, these are just as good as those cheese balls that I have. It's a definite god nah, tier for me. These are nothing compared to hot Cheetos. You're bugging if you think these are god tier. It's good at best. I agree. It's just too bland for me when you got better tasting chips with a kick out there. Oh, and one thing with these chips. I don't like them because they're orange like Trump. Shut the hell up. I have more money than you. Now, I may not have half your paper, but I got twice the dick. 
And you can believe that. Ooh, he got you there. That damn nigga. Whatever, stop slacking off and get back to the list. Cheddar Ruffles sounds good right now, but not because it's orange, you losers. You see, this one is way better than Cheetos 100%. You can never go wrong with some Ruffles. These chips go good with that ranch dip as well. I don't like these as much as Cheetos, but I can't agree with you, gentlemen. I'm gonna put these at God tier since it deserves it, but Takis, on the other hand, are way too fucking spicy. Oh, I'm surprised this one's too much for you. I like these ones, but not as much as Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos are way better than what the hell Takis are. I think if I consume this, I'll end up in the emergency room. Then I'm gonna put it at mid for now. And Where's that nigga Obama? I haven't heard from him in a minute. Oh, so I heard my name. Oh, well, what's happening? Oh, God, did he really pull a Joe and fall asleep on us? Snoop wasn't lying when he said you won't even remember what country you're in. Sleepy Joe OG has me geeked. Ha <laughs> ha, that's my nigga right there. Now that you're back, help us rank the Garden Salsa Sun Chips. These chips are so underrated. It's a great, great middle ground with the flavor, and I've never tasted anything like it. You know what? These chips aren't half bad. No one ever talks about them, but I'll make sure to tweet about it since Elon Musk lifted my ban on Twitter. I know this might be controversial and the comments might get pissed at us, but I think this should go to God tier. Whoa, whoa, the outrage in the comments will be worse than when my unveiling of the new Space Force logo was being mocked on Twitter for looking like a Star Trek ripoff. I mean, that's understandable, but they got to keep in mind we're just AI generated and our opinions are being typed out by somebody that's having a neutral view on this I song. I guess we'll put it at the good tier then. But let us know in the comment section your thoughts on this one in particular. Mm, those honey barbecue twists are an instant god tier, no question about it. These hoes would slap so hard right now, I might just Uber Eats them to my mansion. Hell yeah, these are busting, especially when you're faded. I'd eat three whole bags of these and it still won't get old. I'm from Texas, so anything barbecue is a W for me. I agree with you all, so I'm moving it to God tier. As for these sour cream and onion lays, it doesn't get any better than this. Especially the salt and vinegar lays. Vina, what the f*** did you just no. say? Yeah, what no, in God's no, no, name no. just came out of your f***ing mouth? I'm about to whoop you upside your head with a coat hanger, biatch. You know what? F*** you guys. Wow, you guys made him leave. Poor Joe was just telling you guys his favorite flavor of Lay's. I'm glad that old fart is gone so I don't gotta hear any snoring coming from him. I think we were too harsh on Joey, Snoop. His old ass will come back in the VC, don't y'all worry? I'm not talking to either Barack and Snoop, but I'm putting sour cream and onion Lay's at the good tier. What kind of chip name is Funyuns? Just the name alone doesn't make me want to buy it. Then you'll want to buy my Snazzle O's. These are inspired by Funyuns since these are my fucking favorite. I even made a spicy onion flavor too, but Trump couldn't handle it because he'd be gone off of just two of these. This one ain't that bad, bro. It's supposed to taste how it is, but I mean, I can see why y'all would hate it. Exactly, Barack. They're not terrible, but then again, they're not on the levels of Doritos. So let's put it at the mid-tier. These Fritos are only good with bean dip. If it don't got no dip, then it's a hard pass. The dips are what makes this chip good, especially the Frito scoops. Melania makes the absolute best 10-layer bean dip when Super Bowl Sunday comes around. Yeah, and you didn't invite me to last year's Super Bowl party, you fat fuck. Yeah, I'm not inviting towers over here to ruin Super Bowl Sunday like everything else. I was there, and Melania's bean dip wasn't all that good, guys, so you're not missing out, but she did make some bomb-ass buffalo wings. My wife's a better cook than her, so I'm not surprised. But since dips make this chip, I'm putting it at mid-tier. At least my wife sleeps in the same bed with me, unlike you, but obviously Classic Lays gets god tier, no question about it. My nigga, you are tweaking with that buffoonery-ass statement your clown ass just made. Speaking of clowns, I still haven't forgave you for that one time you dressed a clown up as me in one of your music videos. Ah, you remember that? I wasn't fucking with you for a while up until you pardoned my homie Mike back in 2021, so respect to you on that. Glad you guys can come to some sort of terms, but we gotta create some terms for Classic Lays. This shit is mid. I mean, it's not bad, but there's nothing good with this chip. It's too plain. Easy mid-tier with that, because compared to the other chips we have next, there's no competition. Exactly. When flavors like spicy sweet chili Doritos exist, this shit is an instant god tier. The sweet and spiciness of these Doritos are just absolutely perfect. You know how much I love spicy food, so I agree with Snoop D.O. Double G. Whenever I eat these, the Dorito dust gets all over my fingers and licking it all off is the best. Look at this fat ass over here. He can't have enough of what he's eating. I can never eat these chips the same anymore since all I'm going to think about is Donnie licking his sausage fingers. At least these fingers have been inside plenty whoa, of- Whoa, whoa, cool it, orange man. Don't say that type of disrespectful sh** around here. I can say whatever the fuck I want around you, Nimrods, and you're still broke compared to me either way. I can purchase your entire music catalog and still be a billionaire. Damn, this nigga always bringing money into all of this. Listen here, yeah. 
Having half your money would be crazy, but for that, you need a 20 year old and a divorce lawyer. Ha <laughs> ha no shot. Damn, nigga, you done fucked up. I'm not even gonna respond to that since I can't understand and speak broke. All right, gentlemen, cool it. Hot Cheetos is next for us to rank, and these ones are easily one of the best chips out there. Hot Cheetos never get old for me. The taste is recognizable, and this shit is so addicting to eat, especially when you're zooted. Hell yeah, Barack. This is one of my go to snacks for the munchies. I used to hit up 7-Elevens with my niggas when we all blazed up and get hot Cheetos, peanut M&Ms, pistachios, and gummy worms. My wife tells me to stay away from these chips because she thinks it'll put me to sleep forever, so I've never had these before. You're missing out then, Joey. Maybe I'll come over and just have you try one so you can see how good these taste, but don't tell Jill. Have him eat the whole bag instead so his ass will be on fire. Hot Cheetos belongs at God Tier Boys, but next we have an iconic gamer snack. Doritos. Ah, hell yeah. Doritos and Call of Duty go together like ganja and a nice cold sweet tea. These are the nacho cheese ones, right? I think these chips are so overdone and spicy sweet chili is miles better. But you can never go wrong with the basic taste of this. It's a universal flavor that everyone likes. Cool Ranch Doritos are better in every way. As a matter of fact, I think we should do a Doritos tier list sometime to decide what flavor of Doritos is the best. Sounds like a good idea, Donnie, but I'm putting these chips at God tier. Ooh, we have the munchy snack mix. This is a unique bag of chips, but the only thing I don't fuck with about these ones are the pretzels. Oh yeah, uh, uh, doesn't this bag have Doritos, Hot Cheetos, Sun Chips, and pretzels? I don't think pretzels should be a part of this bag either. If it wasn't, then it would be an instant god tier. Y'all really don't like pretzels that much? They're a nice balance with this bag, to be honest. If I wanted to have pretzels, I would go to buy those chocolate-covered ones, but we're talking about chips and not whatever the hell you would call pretzels. Pretzels are pretty good, and I thought I was the one losing my taste buds, but... Seems like you boys don't know what you're talking about. You just haven't been high ever in your life, Sleepy Joe, so you wouldn't know. Oh, uh, actually, he's been high, all right, but not off of the devil's lettuce. Damn, for real? That's my nigga right there. Uh, anyways, gentlemen, these munchy snack mix are going to be at the good tier. I see we have barbecue Pringles as our last one to rank. The taste of these are brilliant. It brings me back home all over again. You know I would rank these high, but the fact of the Pringle can being so poorly designed is pushing this to awful for me. I thought you had small hands, Donald. I read all over TMZ that you were insecure about your tiny ass hands which is surprising coming from Jabba the Hutt's cousin. Just because you can't fit your hand in the Pringle can, it doesn't make this taste any better or worse. Exactly, Donnie. These chips are really good, but I like the cheddar Pringles more. Whatever, I'll just put this at good tier for you losers. Well, it was nice kicking it with y'all, but I have a studio session to hit right now, so you guys have a good one. Laura's been wanting me to mow the lawn, so I have to go as well, boys. I'm pretty tired from all this chip talk, so I'm gonna go nap. Well, Donnie, it's just you and me. Nope. Well then. Good evening, Mr. Obama. How are you? Since when the fuck did we invite Iron Man to this server? Wow, I just got here. You know what I miss? I miss being in office because my secret service men would go out for me and get any food I wanted. Nowadays, I gotta settle for whatever Michelle decides to cook, and it's not always the most appetizing option. What? <laughs> Your secret service men did that for you. Mine are lazy. And I'm sure all they do is watch Netflix in the theater that's in the basement of the White House. Bless you, Sleepy Joe, but wait, hold on. Since when was there a movie theater in the White House? I didn't have that during my term. Yeah, what the hell? If they had that, I would have watched The Avengers and 21 Jump Street with the boys and, of course, get faded and hotbox the entire theater. Well, Biden, one thing that my Secret Service men did that yours certainly didn't is build a little McDonald's in a room right next to the Oval Office so I can eat all of the Big Macs I want when I want. Well, how lazy can you be for them to do that? What a waste of time and money. I never knew someone could be so down bad for McDonald's. But speaking of McDonald's, if you missed both of our tier lists ranking the breakfast and lunch, it'll be in the description. Oh, and also, if you want to watch us play Minecraft, we fought the Ender Dragon together. But well, what do we do now, guys? We must build a wall around the dragon like I said. Donald, I'm not building a wall around the damn dragon. If we do that, we'll be stuck here forever. Yeah, so check out our video in the description. And if you want more gaming videos, let us know. Let us know in the comments what other videos you want to see, but make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Oh, shut the hell up with your pity self-promotion. If you had natural talent and pizzazz like me, then you wouldn't have to ask. Oh, quit it, Donnie. No one likes you. Everybody pretends to like you because they eat the eight. They know you're a disappointment and just so they can steal your money. Look at you stuttering more than Biden with his speeches. At least I don't have a stutter and have money to steal, unlike you, Barack. You inherited your money, Donnie. Barry actually earned his bands through hard work and dedication. Oh, and also selling dope on the side. What the hell? Joey, why do you got to be a damn snitch? but you wouldn't know hard work if it smacked you in the face, Donald. Oh, really? You know what's hard work? Playing golf every weekend while running the country at the same time. Try that, 
and then you can come at me. Shut your orange traffic cone looking ass up before I shove a golf club up your ass. I think the reason why Trump plays golf so much is just to make up an excuse to avoid Melania. Melania is a wonderful woman and wouldn't want to leave my side. Y'all don't know shit. I'm sure she's just counting down the days until she can leave you. Yeah, because we all know how much she avoids trying to hold your small, wimpy hands in public. I'm not here to talk about my relationship with Melania, you jerkwads. What are we going to even do today? Since we've been talking about fast food a lot lately, let's rank more fast food places like we did a few weeks ago with Joe Rogan. We ranked Taco Bell, uh, Burger King, and a lot more in that tier list, so we're going to rank some more that we didn't go over, like Panda Express and Popeyes. Speaking of Popeyes, let's actually just start off with this restaurant, which we all know is gas. The fried chicken slaps harder than Trump's dad with a belt. Of course Obama loves fried chicken. He probably loves it more than Michelle and his kids. Shut your mouth before I slap the spray tan from your face onto the pop. Popeye's chicken to give it a shinier color. Well, now that you mention that, Trump really is the same color as fried chicken. I don't think I can ever eat fried chicken the same anymore. You're just mad that these looks got me Melania. We all know she's only with you for your money, but Popeye's is going to the good tier. I agree, but wait, are we missing somebody? Didn't you invite someone to join the VC Barack? You better not have invited Dr. Phil because he had a breakdown and a hissy fit last time he was here. Maybe because you were the one that provoked him, jackass, but I don't know where Kanye is. He was supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave him perms so he can join whenever, but we got another chicken place to rank Raising Cane's. Did somebody say chicken? What's up, bro? Where you been? It's been months since we chilled. You hang out with him too? What the hell, Kanye? Whose side are you on? I invited you to the White House to now be disrespected. I'm on nobody's side. I'm still running for president too. And I'll be a damn better president than you will ever be. You know what, Kanye? Maybe you should stick to making mediocre music and leave politics to the professionals. Mediocre music, n***a? Have you heard 808s and Heartbreaks and Graduation? They're masterpieces. Oh yeah, I've heard them. They're the perfect cure for insomnia. Hop off my n***a and hop on a fucking treadmill. Thank you, Barack. This is why us black folks gotta stick together. We can accomplish so many achievements and both of us will be the greatest leaders that the country has ever seen. I already know I'm one of the best, but I'll be even better by being the first black man to walk on Mars. Mark my words. Yeah, and I'll be the first one to build a wall around it. Holy crap, guys. Can we just stop f***ing around and rank canes? As a matter of fact, I'm putting it a god tier since I love it personally, and I don't even got to ask Kanye or Obama what they think about it. You see, this is what's wrong with the country when you put a dinosaur that's going to extinct soon in office. Shut your mouth, Kanye. You are a very troubled man, and you can give back my Make America Great Again hat since you're wearing it is disrespecting my name. I don't care. Take it back, and don't forget you're not the only billionaire in here fat. Then it's starting to get annoying now. Let's just talk about goddamn food. Uh, Sonic is next, and this is a place that's going to put you in a food coma with all the shakes. I certainly hope you order every shake from the menu then. Not going to lie, boys, Sonic is underrated, and Loki, I think it deserves a spot at God tier. Wait, are you talking about Sonic the Hedgehog? Really now, Kanye? And you see, folks, this is the man that wants to run your country. He's as brainless as a scarecrow. Oh, I don't want to hear it. You have the intellectual capacity of a fucking rock, you imbecile. And he will be brainless not to put Sonic at God tier, especially with those chili cheese tots and coney dogs. Opinions on Whataburger, then? Please. Whataburger is definitely overrated. They're the burgers are just okay, and the fries are mediocre at best. You know, I heard that Obama actually banned Whataburger from the White House. That's not true, Donnie. I was just starting a diet with Michelle. I gotta say, the spicy ketchup is pretty good, but other than that, it's just another fast food joint. George would be fuming at you if he heard you say that. He's from Texas and loves this place to death. Wait, what the hell are you doing? Shut you tell it. me you're calling Wait, George. Wait, is he calling him? Now, who in God's name is disrespecting oh, my beloved uh, Whataburger? Uh, Whataburger uh, is a Texas treasure, and if you're f- with Whataburger, then you're f***ing with me, pal. Who f***ing snitched on me? Who the f*** is the rat here? It and you know what, George? So. Yeah, I same. stand by what I say. Whataburger is mid as hell. Donald put me closer to your headset so I can hear. Donald texted me and told me that you said it was the worst fast food place you ever had and that you were going to shut down all locations. All this drama over a fast food place? You guys really need God in your life. Yeah, they really need some therapy. As a matter of fact, Wait, I know who I'm going to text. Is that Kanye that I hear? Tell him I said what's poppin' my Jeep. Let him know I was just listening to niggas in Paris driving back home. Wait, who was, was in Paris? Paris? George, George, what the, what the fuck, fuck did you just, you just say? say? What? Oh, no. It's the name of the song? Come on, guys, just let it slide this one Bro, time. I didn't nah, mean it like that. Come nah, on, why no, did no. you say that, George? George really messed up now. Nah, George, you can't be saying things like that, bro. Think before you nah. speak. Because nah, it's certainly bro, one of the bro, reasons I why swear, you're not I'm, president anymore. This yeehaw ass nigga is about to get an ass whooping next time I pull up in Texas. I dare you to say that to my face, Kanye. As a matter of fact, hold on. George just hung up. What the hell? Good. I think he's backing off. What a little bitch. 
You know what, Kanye? Hell no. Your music. Here we go. We all know Drake and Cardi B make better music than you. The hell? Your music is about He's as enjoyable right, as a root canal without anesthesia. Bro, what? Your beats are about as fresh as a dumpster behind Jesus. a D-rating seafood restaurant that local food inspectors lost their sense of smell and vision from the putrid Bro, stench that lingered nah, into their eyes and nah, nose. Nah, I don't give a damn what you think about my music because, quite frankly, you didn't give a damn about the country when you were too busy reading My Pet Goat. <laughs> Everyone knows oh, my, my music is a cultural movement. What the hell have you ever done that's cultural? Uh, Leave I, uh, this call now, George. Uh, uh. Hello, anyone there? My bad, bro. Where did he go? Casual George always backing away from fights. Now this is entertainment at its finest. I'm glad he's gone because I just lost all my brain cells from hearing him speak. His ass interrupted this tier list and we aren't even halfway done with it. Yeah, so stop your guys' damn bickering and let's finish this. We have checkers or some people know it as rallies. It's a greasy mess that shouldn't exist. What? This, this is, is my go-to go spot when I get faded, faded then a ho. Wait, wait yours, yours too? I think we just had a bro moment. I think you really are my nigga for life. Man, I wish I could have a friend like that. Everybody that I thought was my friend back in elementary school always ended up bullying me for my stutter. <laughs> they would make fun of my overalls, give me wedgies while wearing them, and Holy turning crap, my underwear into the straps instead. Oh, wow. Then they would what? shove me in lockers on okay, the- Okay, we get it, Sleepy Joe, you're boring me. And I do not care just like with our next fast food place, which is Subway. Wait, dumbass, let me put rallies at good tier for Ye and I. I already know why Trump don't care about Subway. He can't come up with functioning brain cells to eat healthy. I mean, would you consider Subway to be healthy? Yeah, of course, obviously don't eat too much of it because bread and carbs can really get to you since Trump exists. But other than that, Subway is amazing. Especially the tuna fish subs. Yeah, you're tweaking, Joe. The tuna subs are bland and smelly like Melania's. Shut up! Shut up! Don't make me bring up Michelle! You know, I do agree with Barack. That's the only sandwich I hate at Subway. But my favorite is the six-inch meatball sub. Yeah, I'm sure you love six inches of meatballs going down your throat. Really now? You're a grown 80-year-old man talking like a 12-year-old. And we have to deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis in this VC. Exactly, but I'm putting Subway at God tier since you can never go wrong with a sandwich at any time. Hey, uh, why the hell are you back? I here? just wanted to uh, apologize for for talking down on your music, Kanye. I actually do think your old music, at least, was very impactful and some of the best. You know what, Mr. Bush? I accept your apology. You're all good, bro. We all can get mad in the moment, but we have to forgive because it's an act of love and mercy. God always forgives us, and thou shalt repent from our sins to seek salvation. Thank you, Mr. Kanye West, for forgiving me. And don't worry, I won't ever say that word again. Well, why don't you shut up about that? I didn't come here for a goddamn sacrament meeting at church. Don't you dare use the Lord's name in vain. You know what, Donald? I think you really do need God in your life, since we all know you're a sinner and a liar. Yeah, Donald's the biggest capper I know. Is it really that easy to tell I lie? I'm good at hiding it, since you all certainly didn't know I wasn't the one who texted Bush about over-exaggerating Biden's opinion on Whataburger. What the heck, Donald? Bro, there's no way. Oh, what the hell? So you're telling me that Biden had nothing to do with this? Who is the snitch and damn rat that told Bush? It probably was six... Six nine motherfuckers. You know, about this whole situation, Donald said he'd wire transfer me $500,000 no, if no, I no. told Bush this was Biden on a new number and what? make up some bullshit about Whataburger Why? being ass. There is no way, Donald. Come on. What the hell, Donald? Why did you do this to me? Yeah, I had a feeling it was 6 9 Who else could the rat be? Hey, shut the fuck up, Kanye. You still owe me a feature, you puta. Your management told me they were gonna hit me up, and they never did. The fuck is that about you lying and shit? Your management team are a bunch of pendejos. Peta a la mierda, Kanye. Tus estúpidos. Zapatos de payaso, Yeezy. What the fuck did he just say? What did he say? I only speak English before I build that wall. You did not just cuss me out in Spanish, Nick. Boys, cool it. Can we stop fighting over petty shit? As a matter of fact, I texted someone that I know will help you whiny brats out. Oh no, did you seriously invite Dr. Listen here, you bitches. If y'all can't stop bickering and fighting like a couple of coked up squirrels, you're gonna end up with more bad blood than a vampire's wet dream. I need all of you to sit down, pop a molly, drink a cold glass of sweet tea, and talk your issues out, then boom, problem solved. See, I told you he can help. Who the hell are you, you ball puta? Get out of here, you're no like Who do you think you are, Dr. You're not even Phil? A licensed Get out of here. You're fake news, Dr. Phil. Fake, fake news. Why don't you all do me a favor and shut up? I'm trying to make all of your lives better, and this is what I get. I don't get paid enough for this bullshit. Anyways, f all of you and bye. You guys really messed that one up. Hot damn. Now, I don't care. Dr. Phil is just as relevant as a dial-up modem. Y'all niggas are just as lame, too, so bye. Did he just pull a George and say that? Oh, f*** off.
off, Barry. He's definitely not getting that feature from me. I'm going to tell my management to keep ghosting his ass. We wasted so much time bickering that I forgot what we're even doing. I think you got that confused with your dementia, Sleepy Joe, but let's finish this stupid list. All right, boys, what do you think about Dunkin' Donuts? This is my go-to joint before I spend a long day in the Oval Office. Dunkin' Donuts is a total disaster. Their coffee is weak and their donuts are as stale as the last time I saw Kanye on stage. What's that supposed to mean, you little shit? Nothing, Kanye. Just stating the facts. Just like your fashion line, Dunkin' Donuts pretends to be something it's not. Come on, guys, let's keep it civil. Personally, I think Dunkin' Donuts is a solid fast food option, especially when you're on the go. Exactly, and their, their breakfast sandwiches are actually delicious along with their bacon. This is God tier. I don't care about what Trump says. Little Caesars is next. And would you even consider pizza places to be fast food? Oh, Little Caesars. I love this place. And I would consider only some pizza shops to be fast food. Their pizza is an absolute joke. It's like eating a piece of cardboard covered in ketchup. You obviously haven't tried the deep dish pizza because that's the best thing about Little Caesars. This place is good for the price and is easy to get if you're looking for quick food. Yeah, even though I like this place a lot, it's very mid compared to most fast food places. I'm a big fan of Five Guys. I love their burgers and fries. They're so juicy and delicious. Whoa, are you sus, my nigga? You think Five Guys are juicy? Bruh. Yeah, you caught me. I'm into those James Charles type of... Nah, I'm f***ing with you. But yeah, this has to be the worst name for a food place ever. Aside from the name, Five Guys is a solid fast food place, and their customizable toppings are a plus. I think we should rename the place to Five Broke Boys, because they are overpriced and not worth it. Nah, you're definitely geeking. I'm putting Five Guys at the good tier. Chipotle is, a. Uh... A joke. They don't even have a drive through instant L for me. Come on, Don. Not everyone wants to inhale their food in a car. I gotta say, I'm a fan of the Chipotle bowls. They're versatile and customizable. That's true, Kanye. But what about the E. coli outbreak a few years back? That's not exactly what I want in my burrito bowl, so I don't know about that one, Chief. I think we're forgetting about how they charge more for guac. Typical liberal nonsense wasting money on avocado mush. You're a billionaire Donnie, so money doesn't matter to you. But them burritos are thick as hell, though, and worth the price nonetheless. Chipotle is going to go at the mid-tier. Nothing more, nothing less. Dairy Queen's been around for a while. It's older than Sleepy Joe, surprisingly, but it's nothing compared to Trump Tower Grill, and you can't tell me otherwise. Sounds like a terrible name, bro. Not going to cap. Take notes from what my Yeezys have became. Hell yeah, I have almost every pair of Yeezys. My favorites are the Zebras, and also those Reflective Boost 350s are fire. Aside from that, Dairy Queen's is only good for the ice cream and the actual food is mid. He makes terrible looking atrocious shoes. They look like they were designed by a toddler with a glue gun and a dream. I swear, Kanye must have been high off his own supply when he came up with those monstrosities. Coming from a n with zero f***ing swag and drip, y'all don't understand the artistic vision of my Yeezys and Dairy Queen. With Dairy Queen, it's like they're creating a masterpiece with every single chicken strip basket, every single chili dog, every single Girl Scout Thin Mint Blizzard. It's just pure genius. Artistic vision? What the hell are you talking about? Dairy Queen ain't no masterpiece. You want a masterpiece, you come to one of my rallies. Those are like works of art. I've fallen asleep at every single one of your boring ass rallies. Ain't no one want to see you in real life because they'll go blind from the reflective shine coming from your orange spray tan. You do got a point. One time I bought a cute puppy for Michelle and the kids and when Trump came over, the dog looked at him then started acting up and whimpering and started running into walls. I took him to the vet and they said he was blind for life. Donnie's orange spray tan ain't no joke and contagious as hell. That's all fake news, fake damn news, just like Dairy Queen. This is going to mid-tier. But some real news I'll tell you is that Pizza Hut is tremendous. The best pizza in the world. If you actually think this is better than Chicago pizza, then you have an IQ of a dead pigeon. Pizza Hut is just mediocre at best. It's like the nickelback of pizza. I have to side with Obama on this one. Pizza Hut is just, man, give me a good slice of New York pizza any day over this. The huge ass chocolate chip cookie makes Pizza Hut an instant god tier. F all of you. Yeah, that chocolate chip cookie sure as hell f***ed you more than Melania. Melania is mid anyways. When I was with Kim, I had the baddest bitch on the planet. Kim is overrated and has been used more than a printer on tax season. Whoa, whoa, chill the hell out, Bro, Donald. calm your old ass down and don't talk about females like that. Have some respect, you deformed Cheeto-faced toupee-wearing baboon. Says the one who looks like Alvin and the Chipmunks with their mouths stuffed with all the nuts they can ever have. But respect... What do you know about respect, Mr. West? Last time I checked, you were busy making a fool of yourself on social media. And as for Kim, we all know why she's famous. 
Everyone on this earth has seen that infamous video of hers where she- Donald, that's enough. We're here to talk about pizza, not Kim Kardashian. So calm the now, hell now, down. Now, this clown really bought to catch this fade right after this VC. Jesus, I'm scared to even talk now. I, I don't want to be roasted. Speaking more on Pizza Hut, though, the only thing I really like is the stuffed crust pizza. Stuffed? Kim Kardashian would know a thing or two about- Bro, please, please stop. Oh, but don't aggravate Ye. Let's just finish this damn tier list and not talk crap 24 seven. I'm holding back so much right now, but it's okay. God will guide me like he always does, just like guiding me to put Pizza Hut at God tier. I don't know why we're even ranking Panda Express. It's made in China and you know how I feel about oh, China. Oh, shut up, Donald. What's with you today, man? You're just mad because they won't let you build another hotel over there. And he's just mad that Panda Express is actually an amazing place. The chow mein and teriyaki chicken are so good it brings tears to my eyes. Panda Express is fire. Their chow mein is on point and the Kung Pao chicken is gas. It's the perfect meal to eat while designing my new Yeezy collection. I bet China's laughing their asses off right now, knowing we're all eating their fake Chinese food. Donnie, stop being ridiculous. Just enjoy the damn food. Panda Express deserves God tier in my books. Now, of course, Wiener Schnitzel is great. I mean, I know all about Wieners, folks. And let me tell you, they have the best Wieners in town. I always order the chili cheese dogs, and they're tremendous. That might have been the most sus thing I've heard a man say in my entire life. Oh, come on now, Donnie, don't be ridiculous. Uh, Wiener schnitzel is a hot mess, just like your term in office. The food is, is greasy and disgusting, and I wouldn't feed it to my worst enemy. Personally, I think Wiener schnitzel is terrible and shouldn't even be considered real food. Chili dogs are all right, but nothing to write home about. And Trump, please stop talking about wieners. You're making us all uncomfortable. This place is the definition of mid. It's not good at all. And I know that will trigger people. Let me tell you, Starbucks is a disaster. Their coffee is weak and sad, just like Sleepy Joe over there. You're the weak one who can't rep 350 like me. I happen to like Starbucks. Their pumpkin spice latte is the bomb. And same with their vanilla bean fraps. Wait, are you talking about my Yeezy 350s? Not everything is about you, Mr. West. I'm with Joe on this one, though. Starbucks is a classic. Plus, their breakfast sandwiches are underrated and low-key amazing. Starbucks is an experience. It's not just about the coffee or food. It's about the atmosphere. You're always talking about experiences, Kanye. How about you experience a reality check? Starbucks is overpriced and overrated. Says the guy who puts ketchup on his steak. And I don't care how expensive it is, I'm still gonna get my salted caramel frappuccino. Nah, man, it's all about the chocolate cookie crumble frappuccino. And Starbucks really isn't a fast food place, right? It's more like a quick service restaurant. Yeah, I guess you can call it that, but it's most certainly going to God tier. Starbucks helped me out on countless sleepless nights working on the college dropout and trying to come up with the original design of the Yeezy. The colors of the drinks are in fact some of the inspo of their colors. No wonder why they look like a newborn's throw up. Shake Shack is pretty solid, but is it better than Five Guys? Shake Shack is tied with them. I honestly don't know which one I like better. Shake Shack is just too expensive for what you get and the burgers are too greasy. Their cheese fries are really good, but now come to think of it, I think it's overrated. You know what's overrated, Obama? Your Nobel Peace Prize. What did you even do to deserve it, huh? Oh, here we go with the insults. And you wonder why nobody takes you seriously. I say Shake Shack goes below five guys at mid-tier only because they don't got the same customization with the burgers. Wingstop is the second best thing that ever happened to America right behind when I became president. Well, come on, man. Wingstop is nowhere close to being a top 10 fast food place. It's just a mediocre joint with mediocre wings. Only good thing about Wingstop are the fries, honestly. I love how you can put the same seasonings from the wings on the fries. That sh slaps harder than when I dropped graduation in 07. Buffalo Wild Wings is far superior and you all know it. Why is it not on this tier list anyways? I don't think B-dubs is considered fast food, right? Honestly, I don't even know anymore. Food's goddamn food. Wingstop is definitely better than Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm just gonna place it at the mid tier, but that's the entire fast food tier list, boys. I gotta hit the studio, work on Donda 3, and prepare to beat Trump in 2024. Peace out, guys. And hey, Barry, come to the stew and let's get faded, brother. I am down, bro. It was nice catching up with you. I'm getting tired from those Zans I popped earlier. I'ma go pass out on the couch. I'ma roll up some backwoods for yay and I studio sesh. Brainless potheads. Hey ho, Kermit the Frog here. Did someone say pot? Elmo and I got baked than a bitch last night with Big Bird. What in the actual f Ah, McDonald's. A place of dreams and top tier food. You can never go wrong with a good old Big Mac with a Diet Coke. Yeah, keep eating McDonald's every damn day of your life and you'll end up looking like Jabba the Hutt's brother. Ah. McDonald's isn't good for you, Donnie. It's just greasy and yeah, Joey's right. Soon enough, you'll end up like those Axiom humans in Wally, -E, floating around in hover chairs, having robots doing everything for you. You're both wrong. McDonald's has the best burgers, fries, and milkshakes, and nobody can tell me a damn thing about it. Their burgers are made with pink slime, Donnie, and 
Now the fries are greasy and soggy. Not to mention the high levels of sodium and fat in their food. It's not healthy for you. Who cares about health? I'm a billionaire. I can afford to eat whatever I want whenever I want. That's not the point, Donnie. As leaders, we need to set an example for the American people. We can't promote unhealthy eating Boring, habits. boring. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. I mean, McDonald's does have some healthy choices that ain't too bad, like salads and chicken sandwiches. I admit, those spicy chicken sandwiches, them hosts slap. Ooh, remember those chicken wraps? Those were top tier. But I think they removed them from the menus. I think you can still get them in Canada and the UK. Donnie needs to eat those instead of five Big Macs a day. Shut up, Barry. You're just mad that they let me serve McDonald's to everyone in the White House. I ordered over 300 cheeseburgers and many French fries on silver platters. Everyone enjoyed it, and I had plenty of leftovers for me. Wait, hold up. Did this nigga just say 300 fucking cheeseburgers? What in the actual flying fuck? What the hell, Donnie? 300? No wonder why you're built like an orange and look just like one. I gotta tell Georgie about this. Yeah, where's George anyways? I, I haven't heard from him in days. Did you guys not read the general chat in our server? George's wife said he's grounded. She said she found his vape and caught him rolling up a doobie. What the hell? George getting faded? Hell yeah, that's my nigga right there. Why is George getting grounded when he's 76 years old? He's a grown ass man. Your wife is strict with you too, Joey. Don't let me bring up that one time she took away your PlayStation 5 and hid it for a month. Shut up, fat ass. I'm gonna call George right now. Hey, what's up, Joey? I just wanted to call and tell you that Donnie ordered over 300 damn cheeseburgers. Wait, did he order them right now? What in God's name? Who needs 300 cheeseburgers? I'm not surprised, honestly. Well, I'm not surprised that you were the worst president. No, not right now, and shut the heck up, office. Donald. George can't even hear you. Wait, what's Donnie even saying? Is he talking shit? Tell George that he should have told me he rolls up too. I'll definitely smoke him out. Yeah, Donnie's being Donnie, and Barry said that he'll smoke you out. No, the hell he can't. Listen to this. Oh, boy. Haha, <laughs> 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 he's coughing. This is gonna be easy. I thought your wife took your vape away. Yeah, she might have took my other vapes away, but I hid this one from her. Well, I just wanted to call and tell you that Donnie yet again makes another poor decision with his money. And Joey knows more right, about then. money than I do. I better I get going or else she'll Pathetic. hear me talking on the phone. She doesn't know that I found the spot where she hid everything, so I gotta go. What a sad life, getting grounded while being a senior citizen. She probably gets him Happy Meals instead of Big Mac. You know, with all this McDonald's talk, we should make a tier list ranking some of the foods on the menu. I'm down for it. And I admit, even though McDonald's isn't the healthiest, sometimes it's nice to have, especially the ice cream sundaes. Here we go again with Sleepy Joe and his dumb ice cream. Well, if George isn't going to be here, who's going to help us with the list? Oh, yeah, I invited someone to join the VC already. Who the hell did you invite? Um... Hey guys, I heard I'm going to help you all with a tier list. Oh God, it's this so-called licensed psychologist. Bro, get out of hey, here. Hey, I've had my license to practice since 1978. You know nothing about me. 1978? Holy crap, you're old as fuck. Yeah, no wonder why Joey invited you here. You guys are both dinosaurs. Shut up, bitch. You were born in 1946, and I was born four years later in 1950. We're basically the same age, you twat waffle. What the hell is a twat waffle? Damn, you really are older than me using words like that to roast people. Zip it, Joe. I came here to help with a damn tier list. Are we going to start with it or keep lollygagging around? Jesus. Yeah, whatever. Let's start this. What are your thoughts on the bacon quarter pounder, gentlemen? That is a burger right there if I ever had one. Delicious and a perfect cheeseburger in my books. This is a solid cheeseburger and very juicy, even if eating one of these will rise my cholesterol levels and send me to the emergency room. I don't eat fast food as much nowadays, but this shit definitely hits. All right, God, here it is then. Next up, we have the horrific concoction of a sandwich that is the filet o fish Shut it, Obama. You don't have good taste buds like me. This is a fantastic sandwich, and anyone who doesn't like it can shove it up their ass. Well, I'll be damned. I agree with Barack over here. This sandwich is disgusting, and who the hell would want to buy fish at McDonald's? Donald. Donald doesn't know what he's talking about. This is easily going to the awful tier. I don't care what you say. What a bunch of clowns. When I run again in 2024 and win, I'll have it be known to make the filet fish sandwich great again. Good luck with that nonsense. Now, let's talk about the most mid-sandwich to ever exist. The McRib. I tell you what, folks, I'm one of those McRib stands, and this sandwich is tremendous. Oh, please, Donald. We all know you only like it because it's named after you. The McTrump. Now, hold on just a minute. The McRib is not just a sandwich. It's an emotional experience. It takes you back to a simpler time. A time when we didn't have to worry about pandemics and politics. Bro, it's just a fucking sandwich. Really, it's, man. It's not just a sandwich. You know what the McRib is like. It's like a warm hug on a cold day. It's like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. And let's not forget the tangy sauce. It's what makes the McRib so special. Tangy sauce? Is that what you call that, Joe? It's more like swamp water mixed with ketchup. I, I don't know, Philip. Sounds like you have some experience with swamp water. What the hell did you just call me? Wait, his full name is Philip. Haha, <laughs> what a loser. Just wait till you hear his middle name. 
Calvin. Oh, why I ought to beat the bejesus out of you, politician punks. You can't beat shit, old man, but the McRib is awful. This is a controversial one that people either love it or hate it. Ooh, ooh, we got Chicky Nuggies to rank next. My wife gets me the 10 piece after a long day at the Oval Office. Chicky Nuggies, really? Come on, what are you, 12, Joey? You're 80 years old. You can never go wrong with chicken nuggets. Dip these in barbecue sauce and call it a day. I agree, but I prefer dipping my nuggets into buffalo sauce. This is a classic and deserves an instant god tier. Now, what do we have next? Uh, Oreo McFlurries. I never can get a chance to try it since the damn ice cream machine is always broken. You know, they do that on purpose, right? They just are lazy and don't want to clean the ice cream machine, so they make the excuse of it not uh, working. Oh, what? Uh, are you serious, man? I, I'm just going to have to bring matters into my own hands and fix all these damn machines so everyone can get Uncle Joe's chocolate chip ice cream. No one in their right mind wants an ice cream flavor named after your old ass. They just puke it out with the thought of you with the ice cream melting in their mouth. Yeah, that's that sounds kind of disgusting. I don't want to even try an Oreo McFlurry anymore. I hope that ice cream machine is always broken. Oreo McFlurries are amazing, though. You can't deny that. Even the Oreo Shamrock McFlurry is gas. This is one of McDonald's signature items, and it's going to God tier. Wait, I just realized we haven't talked about any breakfast items like the McGriddle or hash browns yet. Are we ranking breakfast, too? No, we're not, but we can do that for part two if the viewers want it. So make sure you subscribe for that video and more tier lists with these fools. Sounds good, Donnie. Oh, and also part two will be in the description if the, the video's already uploaded. But next, we got the crispy chicken bacon McWrap. Uh, this was such a great idea for McDonald's to bring, but a terrible idea removing it from the menus in the States. This was one of the only few items I, I, I actually liked getting at McDonald's. My assistant uh, would always get me two of these after I did my show since it would always relieve stress. You sure as hell sound stressed trying to talk oh, about uh, this stupid chicken wrap. Damn bro, are you good? You're stuttering more than Joey uh -huh. over here during his uh -huh. speeches. Oh, give uh -huh. him a break. He grew up with a stutter too, you nimwits. It's just since we brought up the McRap, it reminded me of one of my most stressful days on the show with this mom and kid. But eating the McRap after definitely did help a lot. Are you talking about the cash me outside girl? That was hilarious. Oh, I remember that. That little shit is what's wrong with America. The disrespect in these teenagers are absurd. She was disrespectful and hostile towards me, her mother, and even the damn audience, for Christ's sake. And all these hoes laughing like so funny. Did you say the, the, the hoes are laughing? Yep. So the audience are a bunch of hoes. Yeah. She's a demon, and I basically made her career since she went viral on my show. I haven't been the same man since. But you're a grown man, and she's just a kid. There's no way she was that bad. What's good about it? Well, I guess what's good for you is I made you just like how Oprah made you. You were nothing before I came on this show. Thank you for that. Oh, I'll tell you, she's a very troubled individual, and I hope she can turn her life around and make better choices. Then she can, in fact, cash me outside. How about that? I regret having ears. Hey Siri, how do I unhear a conversation? Honestly, yeah, you didn't need to say all that, but anyways, I'm putting the crispy chicken bacon McWrap at God tier. Ah, uh, you can never go wrong with a side of large french fries. These are easily the best fries that any fast food restaurant offers. You sound dumb saying that. These are too greasy and soggy. I've never had a good set of fries from here. They always turned out terrible. Now you sound like the dumb one here, because these are top tier, especially when these just come out fresh from the fryer. You're basically in heaven. The times I did have the fries at McDonald's, they were always fresh and never cold. I would put it at God tier. Sorry, Joey. I gotta say, the Big Mac is tremendous. Nobody does burgers like McDonald's, and that's on Mama's. You're out of your mind, Donald. That burger tastes like moldy cardboard. It doesn't taste that bad, but it's more bread than meat. It's overhyped. Now, hold on just a minute. I'm a doctor. And I can tell you that the Big Mac is a perfectly fine burger in moderation. What do you know, Dr. Phil? You're not even a real doctor. Excuse me, I have a PhD in clinical psychology. And what do you have? Oh, yeah, that, that's right. A PhD in getting no bitches. Ooh, no shot. Ooh, he said that. He got you there. Hey, Phil, let me tell you something. I have a tremendous brain, the best brain. I don't need a PhD to know that the Big Mac is the best burger out there or to get bitches because, quite frankly, these billions can buy all the hope. I'll ever need. Donald, uh, you may have a big brain, but it's it's clearly not big enough to comprehend the complexity of psychology. And as as for your billions, they uh, can't buy you class, humility, or a decent hairstyle. The Big Mac is the best because it's made by McDonald's, the best fast food chain in the world. I know more about this menu than anyone else. And as for my hairstyle, it's the most iconic hair in history. People pay big money to get hair like mine. Yeah, uh, and the only thing more iconic than your hair is your inability to tell the truth. I've seen Donald's hair up close, and let me tell you, it's a mess. 
It's like a squirrel's tail got glued to his scalp. Why don't you all shut the hell up? I don't care what anyone says in putting the Big Mac at God tier. Holy crap. What, what is this hostility in this Discord VC? I think you need to come on my show so we can talk things out and relieve your anger issues. You want me to come on your show? Are you kidding me, Phil? I've got better things to do than waste my time on your little talk show. Who's in this guy's oatmeal this morning? My God. Well, that's the problem right there, Don. You think everything's a waste of time. You need to learn how to appreciate the little things in life, like the weather, a warm hug from a family member, a bubble bath, stuff like that. A bubble bath? I'm not a teenage girl. The only little thing I appreciate is my bank account, Phil. And let me tell you, it's huge. Huge, unlike that small dick of yours. Money can't buy happiness, Don, and it certainly can't buy you a healthy state of mind. I'm making America great again, Phil. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to make people's lives better, Don. Something you could stand to learn a thing or two about. Did you just say stand? How are you supposed to stand when you don't even have a foot? Didn't you cut it off that one time you were stuck in a bathroom with Shaquille O'Neal? This motherfucker is actually dumb. No, Joey, that was in a damn movie. Not real life, you dingus. Oh, Lord, that was back when my career was failing, back when I just told people to get real. I wasn't even a licensed psychologist. I was just an electrician. You know what, Philip? I take back what I said. You started from the bottom just like me, and guess what? Now we're here making millions. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. All these millions aren't going to fix my balding, though, but yeah, at least you do have hair. Unlike me... Anyways, let's move on to a more happier topic, ranking the Happy Meal. Did someone say Happy Meal? Ooh, ooh, please, can I have one? But with chicky nuggies, apple juices, and a toy? What happened to Joe? I disconnected him. I couldn't stand hearing him talk like a five-year-old. You can't handle problems like that, Donald. you got to face your issues head on and have a deep, prolonging talk with the person to find a solution to get over those obstacles. Shut up, Phil. I didn't join this VC for therapy talk, and the viewers didn't come to watch this video for that either. Let's just rank the damn Happy Meal. Obviously, the, the Happy Meal wasn't made for us, so I don't think it would be fair to rank it. But back when I was a JIT, these would make my day, especially seeing what toy the Happy Meal came with. Oh, yeah. I remember collecting the Muppet Treasure Island toys as well with those Power Rangers action figures. I heard those are worth a lot of money nowadays if you still have them. If that's the case, I might just invest in Happy Meals, but I'm putting them at mid I'm back, boys, and Donald, don't you dare disconnect me again. All right, Joe, we got to rank the classic hamburger now. Thoughts on this? Wait, you guys ranked the Happy Meal without me? Wow, oh, why is it in mid? Whatever. With the hamburger, does it have cheese? If not, then it's a no-go for me. No, it doesn't have cheese, and it's too damn plain. What if people are allergic to cheese or are lactose intolerant or just don't like cheese at all? This burger would be a great choice for them. But cheese is a staple in a burger for me. This one ain't a chief. I'm putting it in the mid-tier. Next, we got Sprite and McDonald's. Sprite hits different. It is incredible, just like me. No one can make Sprite like McDonald's, and no one can run the country like I can. I agree with the Sprite tasting incredible, but I don't know about that other part. It's a little too sweet for me, but I don't mind. Nah, Joey, you should stay away from this Sprite because a few sips of this can land you in the emergency room with how spicy it is. Uh, now hold on just a damn minute, y'all. We can't be talking about Sprite without considering the psychological impact it has on our bodies. It's a sugary beverage that contributes to obesity and diabetes. We should be drinking water or unsweetened tea. Oh, shut up, Phil. You're just jealous that McDonald's runs a more successful business and brings in more money than you ever would. Yeah, Dr. Phil, no one wants to hear about your damn health advice. And no one wants to hear you talk about food like a five-year-old Mr. Joe Biden. Exactly. Thank you, Barry. I'm putting McDonald's Sprite at God tier where it belongs, even though I'm more of a Diet Coke fan. And Joey and his son over here would know a thing or two about Coke, if you know what I mean. Oh, get over it. Let me have my fun. The strawberry milkshake is next, and let me just say that this is such a criminally underrated shake. I actually agree with you, Joe. This tastes hell of a lot better than most strawberry shakes I've had personally. Not gonna lie, this is low-key really good. The whipped cream and cherry on top is perfect with it, too. It's not as good as the Oreo McFlurry, though, and that's a damn fact. I'm putting it at good tier. Now, the cookies here are delicious. The best cookies. Believe me, nobody knows cookies better than me. I honestly can see you as a cookie type of guy munching away on every type of cookie there is, which... Now, thinking about it, we should do a cookie tier list one of these days. I agree. Let's do it. But when we do, oatmeal raisin cookies are going to God tier. They're the real deal. Oatmeal raisin cookies? What the f***? Don't speak again, you nauseating, foul, repugnant, putrid abomination. Ah, sh**. Here we go again. Damn, Donnie. He did nothing wrong. He's just telling you his favorite cookie, which now thinking about it, I think he needs to get locked up for saying oatmeal raisin cookies are God tier. See exactly my point. The McDonald's chocolate chip cookies are phenomenal, especially when they're fresh and warm with a cup of coffee or milk. You're set. Getting a little too passionate about cookies, eh? They're definitely solid tasting cookies, especially when you get faded. Well, sh I'd be damned. 
My nigga, Dr. Phil smokes too. Come dap me up, my boy. I'll give you the N-word pass too. No, no, that isn't necessary, Barack, but thank you for the offer, though. Dumb potheads. I'm putting these cookies at God tier, but next we have the double quarter pounder to rank. This burger is a ticking time bomb. It's got enough meat to clog your arteries for days. I agree with Joey. This burger is a heart attack in a bun. I mean, look at it. It's greasier than a used car salesman. Well, it's it's a classic burger. It's got two patties, cheese, ketchup, onions, pickles. Uh, it's everything you could want, and it's juicy. And enough calories to feed a small country? You know what they say, Donnie. Too much of a good thing can be bad for you. You know what, Joe? You're just jealous that you can't handle this much meat. Yeah, I don't think anyone here would want to handle double the meats, let alone meat in general. Oh, I can handle plenty of meat, Donnie. Bro, what? Oh my God, Joe, did you not get the joke? Jesus, now you're going to get memed on for liking meat. I'm ashamed that you were my vice president now. Oh, that's what you mean. I take back what I say then. Yeah, about the whole handling meat thing too. I take that back. Whatever, gentlemen, this burger has way too much meat that obviously you both can't handle. So I'm putting it at the mid tier. Zip it, Phil. The only thing you can't handle and will never get is billions in your bank account. Again, you bitch. Money can't buy motherfucking happiness. How many goddamn times do I have to say this shit over and over for it to be implanted in your incompetent walnut-sized brain? I swear, these politicians get dumber and dumber every oh, year. Oh, please, Dr. Phil. You think you know everything about happiness? You're just a glorified talk show host. I built an empire. I made billions. And I've got the best life money can buy. You don't know jack about what makes people happy. Money can buy happiness. It bought me a beautiful wife, a gold-plated toilet, and the presidency of the United States. What more could a man want? You know what? F*** you. F*** your hair. F*** this tier list. F*** your money. F*** your Discord server. Just f*** 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 Whoa, that was unexpected. I thought Dr. Phil was supposed to be a therapist, changing people's lives and all that. Now he's just cussing us out like a sailor. I don't think I've ever heard that many F-bombs in a row before. He's definitely not living up to his reputation as a professional. You know what? I'm not surprised. Dr. Phil's been going downhill for years. I mean, the guy's got a PhD in psychology and he's on TV. That's like having a degree in cooking and becoming a waiter. Hey, now, don't be too hard on the guy. Maybe he's just having a bad day. Yeah, but this tier list isn't going to complete itself now, will it? The Eminem McFlurry is next to rank. And this is pretty good, but not as good as the Oreo mix. Straight garbage, the M&Ms get too hard, and freeze up sitting in that cold-ass ice cream. I feel like I'm about to break my teeth trying to eat this. What teeth? Don't you mean your dentures? No, you clown. Biden has dentures, not me. I stay looking fly for the ho Whatever. But M&Ms and ice cream don't go good together, so I'm putting this at mid-tier. The chocolate milkshake isn't nothing special here. It tastes like every other chocolate milkshake I've had. Yeah, I agree. It's a good milkshake, but it just depends on my mood if I want a chocolate one or not. Solid opinions, boys. You see how easy and fast this is without Phil. I'm putting this milkshake a good tier. Yeah, but I kind of miss Phil. He's still my homie regardless. Phil isn't too bad when he isn't yabbering on about therapy this and therapy that, but the caramel sundae is next. And to be honest, it's nothing too special. I feel like the shakes are way better than the sundaes. It's either you're a shake type of person or an ice cream sundae type of person. You see, this is why McDonald's is perfect since it offers all types of choices. I do love my ice cream a lot, but I think the shakes are way better at McDonald's. So this is going to the mid tier. Hey guys, I'm back. Look, I'm sorry. I got carried away. I just have dealt with too many of people's issues that I fail to face and solve my own. I hope you guys understand. I apologize, but Donald, please, cool it. Whatever, but only for this one time, Phil. Now rank this cheeseburger fast and we can just forget about it. Hey, Phil, you're all right. If you're having a bad day or need someone to talk to, I'm here, man. Yeah, same goes for me, too. Thank you, gentlemen, for being civil. But uh, the cheeseburger is good and a solid choice, so I'm going to put it at the good tier if that's all right. That's fine with me because the McDouble is way better than the regular cheeseburger. I agree, Donnie. This is a perfect balance, and it's not too much meat like the double quarter pound. Yeah, I don't want to get wrapped up in too much meat again, so this is going to God tier. Speaking of wraps, the grilled chicken McWrap is next. And I don't mind this one, however, it's not as good as the crispy wrap. Crispy McWraps are far superior, but then again, it just comes down to if you want to eat healthier. If so, then yeah, this is your choice. If you want to eat healthy, McDonald's shouldn't even be on your mind anyways. But this wrap is good nonetheless. Speaking of healthy, I think the premium crispy chicken bacon clubhouse sandwich 
is a solid choice if you're not trying to eat the juicy quarter pounders. It's not bad. Yeah, this sandwich is pretty darn good, but if I want a chicken sandwich, I'll just go to Chick-fil-A instead. True, you got way better chicken sandwich choices there anyways. But for McDonald's, at least it's mid since everyone goes here for its Big Macs and quarter pounders. The caramel frappe is perfect here. I don't know a single soul that hates this drink. You have a point. This is great at any time of the day, too, honestly. They nailed the taste of this. It's too sweet for me, and I don't like coffee much anyways. This is a great drink, but not at the level where the Oreo McFlurry is. I'm putting it at good tier. The spicy McChicken is actually a pretty darn good burger. I don't like eating spicy food much, but for the price of it, I think it's worth it. It's too cheap tasting for me. Every time I've had this, they put too much lettuce in it. They've nailed it for me every time I've had it, and over the years, I think this sandwich actually got better. Yes, no doubt about it. It's going to the good tier. This next one is an easy choice. You can never go wrong with a simple vanilla milkshake. It tastes like every other vanilla milkshake, though. So just like the chocolate one, it's nothing too special. I like this one more than the chocolate shake, to be honest, but I always throw the cherry out on these shakes. Those cherries are disgusting. All right, this is uh, going to the good tier with the rest of the shakes then, boys. And finally, we have McDonald's failed attempt at a chicken sandwich. Oh, God, the McCrispy chicken sandwich is absolutely awful, no doubt about this. One time they served this undercooked and raw to me. How could you dare serve the president raw chicken? Looks like someone didn't like you, but not going to lie, I almost puked eating this thing. It's a disappointment of a chicken sandwich. Yeah, I agree. Awful tier it is then for this sandwich, and that does it. That's the entire McDonald's tier list. This was quite the eventful evening with you all, but my wife made dinner, so I'll catch you all some other time. No the hell he won't. F*** Dr. Phil and f*** his show. F*** his shiny bald head. Yep, he's out of here and I am too. It gets damn tiring disconnecting him all the time. Thankfully, all those beta males left. Now us alphas can discuss things in peace. Am I right, Mr. Obama? Hell no. Looks like even the presidents aren't ready for a top G like me. I'd say one of the best things about being in the White House is all the vending machines that are practically around every corner and room you go in. Right now, I have an ice cream and sunglasses vending machine in the Oval Office. Now, why the hell would you need a sunglasses vending machine? How foolish can you be, Joey? Back during my term, I had a blunt vending machine that was all the rage in the West Wing. My staff and I used to indulge in a little recreational activity while discussing foreign policy. It really helped us relax and come up with some creative solutions. But I'm not going to lie, Joey, it makes zero sense having a sunglasses vending machine, and I know damn well you can't think of a good excuse on why you have one of those. I need all the glasses I can ever have just so I can protect my fragile eyes from going blind. In case I ever see Trump in public. All those glasses in that vending machine are probably all from Goodwill and costed $2 a piece, you broke boy. No, I have class and swag, Donald. I'm not a cheap crab like you. And for your information, they're actually Ray-Ban glasses. Aviator RX 6489-2500, in fact, and plenty more where that came from. Hey, Joey, let me ask you a question about those glasses. Oh, what's your question, Barry? I know everything there is about... Did I ask? Wait, what? Did I ask? And I still don't understand, Barack. What do Did you... I ask about your tacky-looking Swap meet Dollar General looking ass glasses. Good one, Obama. Man, I need new friends. I don't know why I always get bullied. When I was 12 in 1954, I had the coolest lunchbox with a picture of a unicorn on it. The bullies thought it was girly and made fun of me. Little did they know, I had a pet unicorn named Luna, and she's tougher than any of them. 69 years later, I'm finally grown up, and I still have Luna, and she's magic. Are you serious, Joey? Really? A damn unicorn? What the f***? I can't wait to see what other mythical creatures you'll bring to the White House next. Maybe a damn dragon to help with foreign policy or a flirty mermaid to handle environmental regulations? This ain't Harry fucking Potter. Sleepy Joe is unbelievably preposterous. I would have bullied you two back in school with my greaser gang. We had our hair slicked back with switchblades, taking all the lunch money we can get. Why do you think I'm a billionaire? I would have grabbed that girly lunchbox of yours and put cow manure Hell in it. Hell no, your gang sounds like a bunch of little bitches. My squad would have for sure jumped all of your greasy asses faster than you can bankrupt a casino. We were all on the basketball team getting faded hot boxing the choom wagon. I would have thrown my orange basketball right at your orange face, Donnie. Please, please. Can we stop with all of this bully talk? It's giving me PTSD. Oh, it's okay, Sleepy Joe. Your dementia will kick in soon, and you'll forget what we're talking about Whatever, anyways. you big fat bully. I'm texting someone to join that will actually give a damn about me and be nice. Oh, gosh. Who the hell did you invite yeah, this time? I'm not going to lie, Joe. Every time you invite someone, you kill the vibe more than Jar Jar Binks in The Phantom Menace. So please don't let it be some random. Don't worry, boys. He's more famous than all of us combined, and y'all are going to rock with I him. I don't believe that for a damn second. I swear, Joey, if it's... Hey-ho, Kermit the Frog here. 
I heard you were a big fan, Joey. How are you doing tonight? I'm terrible, Kermy. These bullies keep bullying me. No way you invited a frog to our Discord server, the hell? Joey, we're taking your perms away. You're no longer allowed to invite people, or even animals. Whatever the hell Kermit's supposed to be. I'm actually an amphibian for your information, and what did I do? I'm just here to chill. Just ignore them, Kermit. They are just mad because I'm the one in office and not them. The only reason you're in office right now is because they want you to feel special. And you're going to expire soon. I'll be taking back over in 2024. So don't you even worry about it, you old fart. Damn, Trump, you didn't have to do him like that. Let the old man live his final hours in peace. Joey, why do you hang out with these guys? They're so mean to you. See, I told you, Kermy, but they're the boys, and I guess that's what we do. What are you crying about, Kermit? You're so old that you can't even cross the road anymore, just like the rest of your frog family. You do have a point, Trump, but Kermit is looking really, really good for his age. Better than you, in fact. Oh, well, thank you, Obama. I kind of like you now. You're a cool guy. But you, on the other hand, you orange toupee wearing fuck. Take your Hair Force One looking ass on somewhere before I beat the fuck out of hey, you. Hey, hey, stop the bullying. It's triggering me again. Whatever, let's just cut the shit and start this damn tier list, which this is part two of our chips tier list. Part one will be in the description. And make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on these dumbass presidents roasting each other. Now, who the hell do you think you are to try and take over our channel? You just joined the server today. Do I look like I care? I'm Kermit the Frog you're talking to. All right, boys, first off, we got kettle cooked salt and vinegar lays. And I'm not going to lie, I think these things need to be put into God tier without a doubt. Agreed. Agreed. Them hoes is bussin'. Your guys' taste buds must not work because those chips should never have been made. Zip it, Donnie, my taste buds work amazingly. Just ask Melania about when I was with her just last night, because goddamn, she tastes good. Oh, Melania, I hit that too. Shit tastes like Skittles and Lucky Charms at the end of the rainbow. Damn, Kermit, you better chill out, man. I heard you and Miss Piggy were on the last straw already as it was. What the hell? No wonder she was complaining about back pain. If Kermit got in there, you know damn well she wouldn't have felt that. But you, Biden, you know for a fact you didn't hit that cause. If you did, you would have been complaining about your hip popping out of socket first thrust. So keep my wife's name out of your goddamn mouth. Who are you now? Will Smith. And what? Kermit's Chris Rock? I can't take this disrespect in this VC anymore. Just because I'm old doesn't mean I lost my skills in bed. Well, look at what you did, Donnie. You made him cry and leave. What the heck, Toupee? Why did you have to hurt his feelings? Hey, he attacked me first, okay? Let's just get back to the tier list. In the meantime, his old ass will forgot it happened in five minutes anyways. The dementia should kick in any time now. Kettle cooked salt and vinegar lays are going in God tier without a doubt. I'm sorry, Trump, but they have to be there. All right, next we have queso ruffles. I think these chips are amazing without a doubt. The cheese flavor is perfect on these ruffles. Those things are even worse than the last chip. I would have thought you liked these chips since you're basically the same color of them. This is a god-tier bag of chips that I risk my life hopping across the road to get. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, Kermit. You're, you're making me contemplate exactly what your name is by saying these chips are god-tier. Well, too bad I'm putting them at god-tier. I don't care what y'all say, I'm more famous than both of y'all combined, so my opinion is more relevant. And this is why we don't let sleepy fuck invite people to our Discord when we're making tier lists. Every single time, they've ruined everything. I'm surprised he hasn't joined back yet, though. Whatever. Next we have- Wait. Are you guys making a tier list without me? Why didn't any of you tell me you were in VC making a... Oh my God, is that really Kermit the Frog? Kermy, 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 Kermy. What are you doing here? I'm a big fan. Shut up, Joey. You're the one that invited him to do this with us. I can't stand your damn dementia. How do you have less brain cells than John F. Kennedy? What are you talking about, Barry? I just got here, so don't come at me with your nonsense. But I remember when I was just a wee little kid, I would watch the Muppets every day, and Kermy was always my favorite. Can you all just shut up and get on with the next bag of chips? I want to get the hell out of here. Quit being such a party pooper, Trump. Joey is obviously obsessed with me, so let him have his moment. Shut up, you toad. He had his moment when he had the government rig our election back in 2020. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Joey. That's a bitch move just to win because you knew Trump was better than you. Barack and Donald, you need to chill out before I get Kim Jong-un on y'all. Leave my friend alone and stop hurting his feelings. Thank you for sticking up for me, Kermy. Now let's get back to the tier list. Next up, we have Cool Ranch Doritos. Oh, Cool Ranch Doritos. They are my favorite and the best Dorito flavor without a doubt. I'm actually allergic to ranch, so I can't enjoy these chips. One bite and I gotta change my underwear. Wait, what? I never saw you wearing any underwear on any of your Muppet episodes or movies, and I've watched every single one over 20 times each. Well, you see, Joe, when you're as old as me and you, we both know that we have to wear diapers. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I knew Kermit was old as dirt, but never expected to hear about him wearing diapers. I knew Biden did, but Kermit, you just threw me off by saying that. All right, we get it. Biden and Kermit 
shit their pants together, but Cool Ranch Doritos are going to God tier. Next up, we have Pickle Pringles, and these are absolutely atrocious. I've never tried them, but they definitely sound horrible. Why would anyone want to combine pickles and chips? Just one time I ate them at the inauguration after party, and I threw up in Michelle's purse because I didn't want to throw up on my secret service men. So you were the one who ruined her $10 purse I got from Goodwill? I ought to beat your ass. Oh, I'm sorry, Brock. It was an accident. I can Venmo you the $10 for the purse if you want. I don't use Venmo. Do you got Cash App, PayPal, Zelle, or uh, actually, never mind. We'll talk about this later. You better give me that $10 back, though. Back to the tier list, boys. Pickle Pringles are awful tier, but next we have Miss Vicky's Jalapeno Chips. Let me tell you, when I smoke one too many with Snoop, these are the first chips that I steal from 7-Eleven when the cashier has his back turned. First you're a washed up celebrity and now you're a thief? All your fans should be disappointed in you, Kermit the Thief. Hey man, all that Muppets money ran out so I gotta get food somehow. Kermit, I know you have some good left in you. If you need a job, you can be one of my secret servicemen, or rather, secret service frog. Hey, 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 no, he's going to be my secret service frog, not yours. I'll just be your secret service frog for both of you guys, okay? So let's just not fight here. Good luck having that old croak work for you. But on to more important things like these jalapeno chips. They're underrated and deserve to be in God tier. Uh, I wouldn't say they're God tier, but I wouldn't be mad about putting them in the good tier. Yeah, I agree. Good tier suits this bag of chips more. Next up, we got the barbecue lay. So what do you boys think about this one? I'm not going to lie. These chips are the definition of mid, and I have no idea why people like these. I knew I liked being your friend for a reason, Joey, and this is one of them. Barbecue lays are mid. I'd rather use these chips as lily pads than eat them. I'm kind of upset about that, because I feel as if you can't go wrong with a bag of barbecue lays. They're, they're just the OGs at the cookouts on the lake. I would say good tier at least. They're nice to have at those cookouts, I agree, but aside from that, I never buy them at the store. They're going to the mid-tier. Finally, something this orange guy has said I agree with, but anyways, next up we have flaming Hot Funyuns, and I will not lie, I'm not even gonna wait for y'all to respond. These are going to God whoa, tier. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, Kermit. This isn't your tier list and isn't your damn video. Chill out before I kick your green ass out of this server. I thought I would like you more, Kermit, but not gonna lie, you're just a menace now. I miss the old Kermit. Hey, hey, leave him alone. We all know people and, of course, animals change, so give him a break. No, as a matter of fact, I'm telling Miss Piggy about all of this. No, the hell you aren't. If you do, I'm about to tell Melania what this frog tongue can do. What did you just say, Kermit? I, I, and I where have explain. you been? I've been waiting for you to pick me up. It's already 7.30 and we're late for our date. Uh, Get oh, off no, of your no. PC right now and come pick me up or I will beat the no, shit no, out of you. No, no, don't hit me, please. Since you're here, Miss Piggy, I got something to tell you. Here we Has go Has Kermit again. told you what Sleepy Joe and him did with my wife last night? Your wife? I just what? found out that Melania has been having back problems and it's because of Kermit over here. Damn, Trump, you're turning into 6 9 with all this snitching. What is wrong with you? Donald, I swear you're a rat. You look like that. a rat. Miss Piggy, he is lying. It was only me that did all of that to Melania. No, not no, Kermie. I don't care. This isn't the first time I caught Kermit cheating. Shut He's up, He's hopping on very thin ice right now. Good. Kermit needs to learn a lesson and get what he deserves. Don't listen to Joey over here. He has dementia. Oh, Trump, you done f***ed up now. I'm gonna really beat your ass if I ever see you in public. Oh, really? Now, Kermit, you're threatening him when you're the one that cheated on me just so you could shag some skank? I, we've been together for 50 damn years, and yeah, this 50 abusive is what years. you do to me? As a matter of fact, that I'm gonna go mess with Animal, since he's more of an animal Wait, in bed what, than you no, no, are. You fat pig, put some respect Don't on my wife's call me name. Fat? She isn't a skank, she just likes to experiment. Ew, that's I don't gross. know why she would choose Joey and that dumbass green frog. Hey, I'm not dumb. But at the end of the day, she isn't a skank and your husband cheated on you. Now, take your little bitch of a frog and get your asses out of my Discord. Hey, hey, why did you disconnect them both? Look, Donnie, I didn't want to partake in the shagging, all right? I was supposed to just be the camera, man, but Kermie threw some Perk 30s in my cup without me realizing, and I got sleepy and I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sorry, man. Please don't hate me. Damn, man. Kermit really is messed up in the head. I should text Dr. Phil to get Kermit on his show and get him the help he needs. It's all right, Joey. I'm not mad. However, now that that little pond dweller is gone, let's get back to this tier list and get it done before he can join back. Where are we even at with this list? Did we even rank the, the Hot Funyuns? Because if not, they're a god tier bag of chips. But next up, we have Chester's Hot Fries, and I won't lie. These are one of the best snacks for whenever you're faded. When I was at the stew with Kanye last night, we had like $300 worth of these, and let me say, we ate them all. Goddamn, y'all are some fat asses. How did y'all manage to eat $300 worth of Hot Fries? That's more than Matt Stoney could eat, and that guy eats like a madman. You damn potheads and your poor money decisions blowing through it all on this useless food. You can't talk fat ass. You ordered 300 cheese. 
cheeseburgers to the White House, so watch your mouth before I slap some sense into you, little bro. Now, now, boys, cool it down. Hot fries are gonna god tier, so let's go to the next bag of chips. Barbecue ruffles are actually pretty damn good, but are they better than the barbecue Lay's? They are way better than those Lay's 100%. Don't let Biden try and say anything about these, because I already know he hates these chips with his ancient ass taste Why are y'all being so mean to me? Why can't we just rate the chips, man? I miss Kermy. I want them back. That fat pig needs to hop off his tool so I can hop back on it. I always knew you were a meat rider since you rode Obama's in office for eight years, you loser. Now, barbecue ruffles are going to the good tier. Shut your mouth, Donald. You slob all over Mike Pence's. God damn you, Trump. You just ruined my marriage of 50 years and now we're getting a divorce. Now I'll have to go get a job again since I won't have the money from Miss Piggy's OnlyFans anymore. Is that really you, Kermy? I missed you. They were bullying me while you were gone. Oh, shut up, you fossil. No one was bullying you. We were just speaking facts and you got all up in your feels. I have a date with Janice tonight, so please, uh, let's hurry it up and finish this tier list so I can beat the Doonies down. All right, whatever you tadpole. Hot Cheeto Puffs are next, and let me just say that after eating these chips, I've never ran more to the bathroom before in my life. Oh, these things. Boy, let me tell you what. When Kermie slips me them 30s, these are my go-to snack. I could eat $1,000 worth of them if it really came down to what it. What the hell, Joey? Why are you suddenly getting into these opioids now? This is why you never meet your idols, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna wanna do everything they do. Hey, you don't know nothing, Barack. Leave us alone and let us get wasted in peace. Uh, but these hot Cheeto puffs are amazing, but my little frog tongue can't handle the heat. Uh, there is way too much spice and salt on these, and we all know salt and amphibians don't mix well together. Despite the heat of these chips, they definitely deserve God tier. Speaking more about heat, the Hawaiian mango habanero chips is a perfect balance of spicy and sweet. Oh, and plus, they're Hawaiian just like me. These chips aren't even Hawaiian. They're fake news, and their company got sued for false advertising. Who snitched on them? I'm about to beat their ass since I love those chips. Wow, my whole life is a lie now. Aside from these chips actually not being Hawaiian, I think they're, they're really good, so good good tier it is. Next up we have pizza Pringles and I won't lie, these are awful. Are you high or something? These are some of the best chips I've ever had. Uh, I am though. Pizza Pringles are mid as hell. They don't even taste like pizza. I agree with Kermy Wormy. I'm putting them at the mid tier. Wait, did you say Kermy Wormy? You are such a child, Joey. Yeah, he sure as hell has the mind of a 12 year old, but finally we have sour cream and onion Pringles and I honestly think it's mid too. I never really liked Pringles anyways. The only thing I like about them is how they're in a can. That can is very useful for smuggling and contraband. Kermit taught me that one. Of course he did. What a bunch of no good fugitives. This is going to mid tier and that's the entire tier list. So get the hell out of here, Kermit. Cool it, you fat mango. Hey, Joey, are we hanging out tonight? I got a new bong if you want to try it out with me. I've been so lonely recently, I have no smoking buddies. Yeah, of course, Kermie. I have to experiment more and have fun before my time's up. The FBI are on their way. Oh no, I'm out. I'm gonna take a nap before I head to Kermit's swamp. I'm gonna go buy Michelle a new purse from Goodwill. Why am I always the last one in VC? I heard you wanna build a wall around the bikini bottom. Listen here, buddy, stay the f away from my home. What is wrong with your voice? I think you're gonna make me go deaf. I bet if you saw Gary, you'd try to grab him by the shell. I was at the grocery store with Melania restocking on some snacks for when I game with the boys, and she recommended we get some Gatorade. I didn't know which flavor to get since there was too many, so I ended up getting all of them and spent $100 on Gatorade. Jesus Christ, Donnie, you're terrible with your money. No wonder why you filed for bankruptcy six times. Shut up, Barry. I'd have you know that, that Gatorade is a fantastic investment, especially since Melania put me on that workout plan. Seems like that's not working out for you, huh, Donnie? <laughs> Don't get me started, you sleepy f Anyways, Gatorade is pretty gas. I'm gonna come over and grab some from you, Donnie. You're not taking any of my red Gatorades. That's the best one. I beg to differ. Cucumber lime is where it's at. What the f Disgusting ass. Cucumber lime Gatorade ain't that bad, bro. Y'all are tweaking. I think Michelle brainwashed you to like everything she likes, so your opinion is invalid. I do think we should make a tier list of the best and worst Gatorades to prove that cucumber lime is the worst flavor out there. I'm down. Good Sounds idea. like a plan. Let's start off with the classics first. What do you boys think of orange? Orange is a classic and is always one of my go-tos. You can never go wrong with anything orange except for Trump. Shut it, old man. Orange is an OG flavor that should have a good spot on the list. I fuck with orange heavy, but it's not as good as some others, so let's put it at the good tier. One of the other classic flavors is lemon lime. This tastes really refreshing and reminds me of the lemon tree that my wife planted at our ranch. Oh, don't bring up your wife, Georgie, or else Trump will try to get frisky with her. 
We all know how he is with women. I have you know that I respect women. I love women as much as I love money. That's not the only thing you love since you love grabbing women by their... Shut up. I forgot what flavor we're talking about again. Looks like Joe's dementia is kicking in again, but we're on lemon lime. Never gets old for me, so it's a W in my books. Oh, lemon lime. I have a pack of 24 of them right now in the Oval Office, actually. I say, let's put it at the godly tier. Okay, boys, our next flavor is the red one, fruit punch. Easily a god tier for me. It never gets old and is one of the best fruit punch tasting things I've had. I actually agree with Obama for once, but one thing I hate about it is how it leaves that red mark on my upper lip after I drink it. It's okay, it'll just blend in with your orange skin, Donnie. Your skin is more wrinkly than your wife's. Shut up, Donald, you're going to get canceled. He's used to it by now. He's been canceled plenty of times. You guys are fools, more Gatorade talk and less b Fruit Punch is easily the best Gatorade flavor, don't ask. It's not as good as cucumber lime, Joey, come on now. You're delusional, George. Keep it up and you'll end up getting dementia like me. All right, I'm putting Fruit Punch at godly. All right, good. perfect. Cool Blue is fire, especially when you put it in the freezer and you take it out after 30 minutes and it becomes a slushy. Hell yeah, I used to do that all the time back in college on those hot summer days. Pop a blue Gatorade in the freezer for a little, then roll up and smoke with the boys. My wife used to pack blue Gatorades in my daughter's lunch, but I used to steal those hoes away every time and she'd always wonder where it went. Damn, the disrespect is crazy. It really do be your own family, bro. Blue Gatorade is the peak of all juices. Technically, Sleepy Joe, Gatorade is not a juice, it's a sports drink. Yeah, and you wouldn't know so much about sports, huh, you fat f You're killing the vibe, Joe. Since blue is a good ass flavor, I'm putting it at godly. Now let's move on to some controversial flavors like Glacier Cherry. Oh, not the jizz looking ass Gatorade. This tastes like children's medicine that's been expired for five years. Yeah, this shit is so mid, even my dog spit it out when I left my Gatorade open on my desk when I was taking a piss. I'd rather drink your dog's water Obama than that jizz Gatorade. Oh, come on, guys. It's actually a good flavor. Y'all are so weird. Shut up, cucumber boy. This Gatorade flavor is awful. We got fierce grape to rank next. This flavor is top tier, boys. No question about it. Of course you would like grape, but I don't blame you since it never misses. I actually got more grape Gatorade at the store with Melania than any of the other ones. Grape is pretty chill, but I think it's overhyped. Nah, I'm with everyone else but you, Biden. I think you forgot what it tastes like because of your dementia. Agreed. I don't think we should trust Biden as much since he... What's up, fellas? How we doing? Holy crap, is that the Drake? Oh my God, it's actually Drizzy, Joe. Uh... I love your music so much, man. I listen to it all yeah, the man, time. Yeah, man, I bought Take Care on vinyl. It had me in my feels. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you, fellas. I wouldn't expect the presidents to fuck with my music like that. Will y'all niggas cool down? Drake's just like us, if not just as known as we are. Drake and I go way back. Hello, Aubrey. I see that you come uninvited. Don't call me that, Mr. Trump. What's wrong with Aubrey? Isn't it your name, you twat? Yeah, but only my homies can call me that, and you're most certainly not my fucking homie. You may have the power with music, but I have the power to disconnect you from this VC, so pucker up and have some respect here, boy. Why are you acting like this, bro? Who hurt you? Shut up before I make you a second option to Melania. Cool it, boys. I don't want Drake to leave Yeah, us. shut the hell up, Donnie. I can't miss my once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to talk to Drizzy. Jesus Christ, you guys act like damn kids. Kids. I'm about to slap some sense into y'all. Anyways, I see you guys are making a Gatorade tier list. I see that Glacier Cherry is at the awful uh, tier. Are y'all tripping? Maybe I was wrong too. Let's bump it a tier see, up. See, I told you, Drake loves the flavor too, just like oh, me. Oh, the meat writing is insane from both of you. The moment a celebrity comes in here, you agree with whatever they say. Shut up. You're just jealous that people actually love Drake unlike you. Drake is fake news and we all know that he doesn't even write his own music. It's all fake music, fake, fake, fake. Respectfully, Mr. Trump, but will you shut the f up? Bro, what just happened? You made him leave, Donnie, you ass. No, I just checked the audit log and he disconnected Drake. Wow, Obama, whose side are you on? Shut up before I disconnect you too. What the hell, man? Did someone disconnect me? Yeah, I'm sorry it was fat ass over here. He's a little moody today. It's probably that time of month for him right now. Haha, <laughs> you need a tampon, Mr. Trump? You know what, I'm muting you so I don't have to hear your stupid voice. Oh, Lord, just drop it and stop acting like a child, Donald. Hey, man, I'm just trying to chill with the homies and rank some Gatorades. Which flavor are we at, though? Uh, I think we are at grape, if I remember correctly. My dementia isn't getting in the way for once. Easy pick right there. It's a god-tier flavor, 100%, fellas. I agree with Drake. Agree with Drake on what? Maybe if you didn't have him muted, you'd actually know what he's saying. Oh, wait, so he can't hear me right now? Yeah, he can't hear you. Don't tell him, but the other night ago, Melania was my sneaky link we drank and netflix and chilled if you know what i mean melania no way really? melania no shot drake melania why am i hearing melania's name who's talking about her unmute drake you cry baby whatever fine now what did you say about melania aubrey yeah i'm definitely not telling you now loser enough this is going to go back and forth forever we have melon to rank now thoughts on this flavor melon isn't the best but it's not bad if you know what i mean yeah i feel you bro it's one of those flavors where if it's the last gatorade on the shelf i'd get it i never really liked melons anyways unless if they were melania you little shit let's put it at mid-tier then boys for sure man Sounds good, good choice mm -hmm. let's speed through these last ones since y'all took up so much time arguing about some bullshit. i got places to be 
Thoughts on Riptide Rush? W flavor? No one talks about it, but it's good. I agree with Drake for once. It's an underrated flavor. Oh, look at you two actually agreeing with each other. How lovely. Zip it, old bag. Riptide Rush is a good flavor for sure. So good tier it is, then. Uh, lemonade Gatorade is useless since lemon lime exists. Yeah, lemonade is overdone a lot of times than not. Let's put it at mid-tier, kind of like uh, Trump Tower. Don't aggravate him, Drake. We got to get this list done, bro. I have, you know, that a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into Trump Tower. It's a better legacy than what you have with your mumble rap. I don't even make mumble rap, you orange freak. You really are uncultured. I'm not going to waste time and argue with you since you're not going to be able to comprehend my sentences since you literally have zero brain cells. Yeah, shut up, guys. We have a few more left. Green apple is next, and it's awful. It tastes like a worse version of those green Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, it's an awful flavor that shouldn't exist. Awful tier it is, then. Strawberry watermelon is next, and I only like the strawberry taste of this, not the watermelon. That's surprising, Mr. Graham. I agree with Drake. Strawberry watermelon is a hard flavor to hit on the mark. Yeah, it's a very mid flavor compared to the rest. My favorite flavor for last, lime cucumber. This is going to the godly tier. I'm sorry, bro, but whatever you've been smoking to say that, I want to hit. Oh, my bad, bro. No, no, my bad, bro. You're fine, Mr. Bush. It's just not a good flavor at all. I don't think it's terrible. It's not as amazing as the other flavors. This one's refreshing to have after a jog or a little workout you put in. Michelle used to always grab me one of these after we jog around the White House in the morning. You guys don't know what you're talking about. This is the worst flavor of anything. It should be deleted from existence. Juice from a can of sardines tastes better than that. Okay, you're pushing it, man. It's a bad flavor, but not that bad. I'm putting it at the mid-tier. So now that we're done ranking Gatorades, can you get the hell out of here, Drake? Jeez, bro, who's shitting your oatmeal this morning, old man? I disconnected him, bro. Let him be. All right, Drake, it was nice meeting you, but I have to run errands with my wife. Yeah, I think Laura made some dinner and it's ready. I'll see you boys later. Thank you for listening to my music, Mr. Presidents. I'll text you some unreleased tracks. Hell yeah. Let's go. It was nice catching up with you, bro. Let's chill some other time again. You want to play some zombies later on Origins? Sure, man. I'm down. Holy crap, is that the Drake? I've been wanting you in my podcast for the longest time. Uh... Huh? Uh, I gotta go walk my fish, bro. I just got here. What the hell, man? Looks like McDonald's is the superior fast food chain since this is the second part to our McDonald's tier list. Just because we're making another McDonald's tier list doesn't automatically mean it's a good fast food place. Yeah, all it means is that there's too much damn greasy food on the menu. Your opinions are invalid, you fools. Stop spreading fake news about my beloved McDonald's. This is why you're built like an overinflated orange basketball, Donald. If you stuck to Subway like me, then you'd have my stunning looks. I don't want to hear it from you, Joey. I'm sure I saw you when I was watching The Walking Dead because you look like a damn zombie. Nah, I think he's looking more like the, the mummy from that one movie, The Mummy Returns with The Rock. Enough of both of your shenanigans. We're here to make another McDonald's tier list. But of course, this time we're ranking breakfast. Ah, uh, just when you wouldn't think it can get better than a Big Mac with a Diet Coke. McDonald's breakfast exists with a delicious bacon egg and cheese McGriddle with a caramel mocha. Ah, uh, shit, I'm in the mood for a McGriddle now. Honestly, I think breakfast is the best part about McDonald's. But if everyone watching hasn't seen part one ranking the rest of the menu, check it out in the description. Yeah, and let us know what other tier lists we should do and subscribe so you don't miss out on Oh, and also let us know who else should hop in our Discord server to make these tier lists with us. Wait, hold on, Sleepy Joe. Don't tell me you invited Dr. F***ing Phil again. He pissed me off and ruined that McDonald's tier list for me. Phil was just having a bad day. Give him a break. But he's busy today, so I invited someone else. Don't tell me you invited Andrew. Hello, gentlemen. I couldn't resist the opportunity to join the VC and share my expertise on various subjects. Why the hell are you here? We don't need any of your quote-unquote expertise on anything. I'm a billionaire. Expertise? On what exactly, Mr. Tate? For starters, I have a class on my Discord server where I teach men how to pick up women. Yeah, I've learned a lot from Andrew's server, and nowadays I'd be getting bands and all the bad bitches. I'm telling Jill about this. There's no shot you paid to get into his server to get girls when you've been with your wife for over 40 years. Listen here, Barry. You wouldn't know the lifestyle or a fine slice of hot apple pie when your eyes see one. My man, I'm proud of Joe over here. You keep killing it with the shoddies, then you'll soon be a top G like me. I think Joey's dementia is kicking in and he forgot who he is. Uh, sucks to suck. So I see you guys are making a McDonald's tier list. Why are you dumb fucks even eating this processed horse shit anyways? If you disrespect McDonald's, then you're disrespecting me too. Zip it, or I'll have the feds put you back in jail again. Did you say the feds? That's what I call the Matrix. And the Matrix won't control me since I'm in control of the real world. The Matrix, like the movie? The hell is this mumbo jumbo on about? You just wouldn't understand, Barry, or actually come to think of it, I think the Matrix has gotten you too. I think I may remember some things about McDonald's back before I became the top G. Enough of this Matrix nonsense. I'm going to start this damn tier list. The hash browns here are an instant god tier. 
I can eat three of these and it never gets old. Yeah, try eating one more and you'll end up in the emergency room since your old ass wouldn't handle it. Hash browns are a must when you're getting breakfast here. So I agree, Joey, it's God-tier material. The bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit is a solid choice, but the biscuits themselves are more buttery than the sweat on Joey's forehead when I was cooking up W's during that debate against him in 2020. The only thing you were cooking was all that incompetent malarkey nonsense coming out of your mouth. Oh, shut it, you two, before I shove that biscuit up your ass. You know, Donald does have a point with that biscuit, though. This is supposed to be a balanced sandwich, but the overbuttered biscuits ruin it's it. It's not that bad. Come on. It tastes wonderful. I'm putting it in the good tier. I forgot McDonald's had cinnamon rolls since I always get cookies. This white frosting mess is definitely not it. Oh, I love cinnamon rolls, but from McDonald's? Uh, every time I've gotten this, it's either been dry or... There was too much damn frosting. I'm surprised you don't like the frosting, Joe. You seem like the type of guy that wouldn't resist any of that white gooiness. Especially since you, with Obama in the White House for eight years, I know for a fact that a lot of sus activities were going on in the Oval Office. You mean like how you were cuddling up with Putin in your private meetings? Or how you love riding on Kim Jong-un's rocket, if you know what I mean? Now that's what I call sus activities, so shut the fuck up, fat ass. My God, what did he just say? Shh. Let him cook, Joe. Oh, Obama. Still trying to be funny, I see. I thought you left the jokes in the White House along with all those missing emails. Clearly, Barack over here is an alpha male who exudes power and confidence in every move he makes. The man can command a room with just a glance, whilst Donald is a whiny child in the toy aisle at Target. I have two words for you, Mr. Andrew Tate. Get deafened. Here we go again with Trump abusing Wait, his power. Wait, what does Donald mean by deafened? What the hell are you doing to the top Hello, can G? can you guys hear me? Is anyone Do you there? realize Hello? he can Hello? still talk since he's Man, not serving this server is lame idiot? anyway. Screw these dudes. These oh, here we go then. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah, the cinnamon roll. It's going to mid-tier, but iced caramel coffee is next, and this slaps. What are you, a white girl at Starbucks now, Donnie? Nah, he has a point. Iced coffee actually hits, surprisingly. But for McDonald's, really? Just go to Starbucks or any other coffee place to get this. Plus... With this one, you have to put a lot of whipped cream and chocolate for it to even taste half decent. You don't know what you're talking about, Barry. No, you don't know what you're talking about, dipshit. I don't care what you say. This is going to mid-tier. All right, we have an absolute classic here. Uh, the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. This is an obvious answer. Am I right, boys? Oh, yeah, no doubt about this. I don't even got to explain why it's going to God tier. And I don't got to explain why you're full of shit. Wait, guys, are we going to undeafen Andrew? We can't keep the top G waiting. No, his bald ass can wait, but speaking of top Gs, we have a top G item to talk about next, the Egg McMuffin. Okay, I'll actually let that one slide. This is a perfect breakfast sandwich and you can't tell me otherwise. I do agree with you all. I don't know anyone who hates this sandwich. Let's put it at God tier then. All right, I'm gonna undeafen Mr. Clean over here. Yo, Andrew. Hey, are you uh, still hello? there? Finally, I can hear you guys. I once more again beat the Matrix. Hey, Donald, I got two words for you. I don't Fuck give a donkey's you. ass. Whoa, who gave Andrew perms? What the hell? Uh, Jesus Christ, Joe, you can't be giving perms to everyone in our server. Are you backpedaling now, Barack? An alpha male deserves any and all power. You should know this already. Shut up about your alpha male matrix bullshit. I'm unmuting Donnie. Why I oughta slap you silly until your face looks like a Picasso painting. <laughs> You're not doing shit, old man. We have things to do right now. Hotcakes is our next food, right? What kind of name is this? Why not just call them pancakes? Hotcakes just fucking... A noise. The term hotcakes has been used to refer to pancakes for centuries. How do you guys not know this? Because we haven't been on this earth for centuries like you. You bitch, I'm only four years older than you. Only beta males bicker back and forth like you two, but these hotcakes are mid as fuck on their own. They need something with it in order to be good. That's why there's combos with it on the menu, which we'll get to soon. But the yogurt parfait over here is a straight W. Why the hell would anyone eat this for breakfast? What is this? It's like the only semi-healthy thing on the menu, Donald. And of course, you don't know about anything healthy. This parfait is a perfect balance, no doubt about that in my mind. It's an easy decision I'm making to put it in the good tier. Solid choice. And speaking more about hotcakes, all this is, is just hotcakes and sausage. Still very lame. It's missing more things to complete it for me. You're the lame one and don't know a damn thing about McDonald's. Drizzle syrup over them both and you got yourself a sweet and tasty breakfast. You're that kind of weirdo that mixes his syrup with everything on the plate. Why am I not surprised? What a damn pig. I do agree with Andrew though. So it's going to mid and also can take this ratio. We have one of fast foods, most atrocious concoctions ever to exist. The sausage burrito. This tastes like as if someone took the leftovers from a questionable meat processing plant and decided to shove it into a soggy, chewy tortilla. The supposed flavor is non-existent and the texture is a disaster, a mushy and unappetizing mess. This is probably the only thing I'm ever going to agree with you on. It tastes like a slap in the face from a disgruntled employee who hates their job and wants you to suffer as much as they do. The sausage itself is like chewing on a rubbery eraser and the tortilla is so limp and flimsy that 
it's almost impossible to pick up without it falling apart. And don't even get me started on the cheese. It's like someone melted a plastic toy and poured it on top. Honestly, the only thing this burrito is good for is using it as a doorstop or a paperweight. Awful tear this disgrace of a burrito is going into. Now, what do you all think about the sausage McGriddle? Well, it's not as good as the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle since there's literally only sausage in it. It's still delicious, though. You can't deny that. Yeah, I think it's worth putting it in the good tier, to be honest. McGriddles need a little more than just sausage to be godly. Speaking more about sausage, the sausage McMuffin is pretty similar. And if we're putting the sausage McGriddle at the good tier, then this should be there with it. I agree, Barry, that the other McMuffins are far superior than this. And I am far superior than all of you combined. Quit it, Andrew. Don't start again, or I'm going to kick you out from my server. Hey, hold on there, Donnie. This is our server, not just yours. Exactly, Donald. Everything in this world isn't just yours because you're a billionaire. I'm the one who set up most of the server anyways. I set up the bots, the roles, the server banner, voice and text channels, while you all sat around doing nothing just like your terms and off. If he really did all of that while you all sat around doing nothing, then you guys are some betas. My nigga, you literally just stole someone else's server template. So, so in reality, it just took five seconds to make. Wow, what a thief. Sorry, I can't hear you over the deafening silence of your intellect. No shot, you just now said that's that. some alpha male shit right there. You know what? I don't give a fuck. You're not worth my time, but the apple pie is certainly worth my time and has more brain cells than you'll ever have. You mean all those brain cells you lost after you got married to Michelle? Don't bring up her name, you fuck nigga. Yeah, cool it, Donald. We have to finish this damn tier list. You know, after a long day of being a top G, you gotta reward yourself here and there, you know? This apple pie is certainly a god tier reward that'll keep you on your alpha path. But if you wanna stray away from that and turn into a beta male like Trump, then you'll eat the apple fritter. If you want to know what disappointment tastes like, just try an apple fritter from here. It looks good, but when you take that bite, it's over. This tastes like it's been sitting on the side of the road for two weeks. Oh, come on. It's not that bad, you losers. Have some respect for the apple fritter. Now, thinking about it, I definitely have more respect for this apple fritter than you. Yeah, this is going straight to awful tier. I think the next one is called Big Breakfast. What does this have in it? It has a biscuit, hash brown, sausage, and eggs. This is one step away from being at God tier. I mean, this one's not bad. It has good variety and a little bit of everything. But not quite everything yet. It's a good tier item. But if we're talking about this with hotcakes, then yes, it's God tier. Exactly. This next combo has it all. It's easily God tier since it's a lot of food. Michelle can cook all of this 10 times better instead of having it made from McDonald's. A true man, Barack, is uh, keeping women in their rightful place. Jesus Christ, Andrew, I didn't mean it like that, you sexist fuck. Women who want to be in positions of power are going against their natural instincts. And whoa, we'll... whoa, whoa. I'm going to have to stop you right there. We don't need any controversial things said around here, all right? I'm just trying to talk about McDonald's, not all this buffoonery. Coming from the most controversial one here, I, I'm surprised you even said that, Donnie. Yeah, coming from him, I wouldn't expect that. And I thought I was the most controversial one here. I guess Trump is, since we all know he likes grabbing women by their... Yeah, I just banned him from the server. Who's the alpha male now? All right, I'm fine with him gone. We can get this tier list done a lot quicker. What's next anyways? Oh, the sausage biscuit? Yeah, this is mid, boys. You can't have sausage without eggs. Okay, fine. I agree with you, Joe. Mid-tier it is. Now, this caramel mocha is wonderful to have on those cold mornings. This don't miss. This coffee is actually great. You'd think McDonald's would somehow mess this one up, but it's not half bad. I agree with you both. Good tier it is then with this coffee. Speaking more of McGriddles, the final McGriddle we got is the sausage egg cheese one. Instant God tier, no debate. I can eat 10 of these and still not have enough. By that time, you'll be the size of the fucking earth, Donald. Slow it down, why don't you? We're almost done with this tier list, boys. I don't know how I feel about the iced mocha, though. They're trying too hard with some of these drinks to be like Starbucks. Learn to enjoy a sweet-tasting, refreshing iced coffee berry. I love this drink, too. McDonald's back at it again, never missing. Whatever, just for Donald, I'll put it at the good tier. But the sausage egg biscuit is all right, but it's not the best. Nah, man, this is a solid, solid choice. If you don't want bacon or cheese, then this is an nope, easy choice. Nope, nope, nope. This biscuit is only good with bacon and cheese. This one is straight garbage. Bro, it's not garbage. Stop talking about your wife like that. Now look who's the hypocrite talking about wives. I'll have you know that Melania is the baddest first lady in office. Now y'all are tweaking. We all know that my shawty Jill is a dime piece. Uh, she's sure as hell old like a dime, but I only threw shots at your wife since you tried pulling that dumb shit on me earlier. So fuck up, Donnie. Enough of this wife talk. We're not making a wives tier list, but thinking about it, if the viewers want us to rank some Pixar or cartoon baddies, let us know in the comments. You're sounding like Andrew Tate over here. Watch it. But the premium roast coffee is next. And it tastes like you just brushed your teeth and bit into a grapefruit. The moment I tried drinking this, I instantly threw it and it accidentally hit a husband and wife. I felt bad. 
Um, but I soon learned they were Trump supporters, so I didn't mind it, actually. Don't you dare treat my fans with disrespect. Your fans, really, Donald? Shut your mouth, Donald, before I throw some of this coffee at you to remove that orange spray tan of yours. Whatever, Barack, we'll see who'll be talking when I win in 2024, but this coffee is, in fact, disgusting, so it deserves to be in the awful tears. Now, this, this blueberry muffin is honestly one of the best muffins I've ever had. It's not dry or lackluster with the taste, surprisingly. Yeah, I thought this muffin would be like biting into a piece of ice, but it's amazing, especially when you pop it in the microwave for five seconds. Finally, you nonsensical clowns have a decent opinion. This is an easy god tier if I ever saw one. All right, boys, this is the last item here. The good old sausage egg McMuffin. I think we all know where this one is going. Let's count down, and on one, we'll all say what tier it deserves at the same time. Three. Two. One. God tier. Oh, not again with Sleepy Joe. What the hell? How the fuck do you fall asleep in three seconds? That's what I'm wondering. But yeah, God tier, this biscuit sandwich is going in. Now that this tier list is complete, I have a golfing tournament to attend to. I gotta go make dinner for Michelle, so I'll see you tomorrow in BC. Hey, Joe, how's it going? Where did everybody go? What the hell? This old fuck snores louder than me. You know, the one perk of being president is the amount of drinks we have at the White House. It's practically unlimited here since there's a fridge stocked up with soda, juice, tea, and water at every corner you turn. Yeah, before I became president, I heard talks of an unlimited supply of any drink and food you want. So when I was elected, I was most excited about having a fridge fully stocked up with orange Gatorade. Back when it was my term, I had a fridge stocked to the max with Diet Cherry Vanilla Pepsi, but I wasn't satisfied since they didn't have any lick of alcohol anywhere in the White House. Good, you filthy alcoholic. And what the hell flavor did you say? Diet Cherry Vanilla Pepsi? The f kind of liquor you've been drinking, George? I used the secret drawer compartment under my desk to stash my liquor and would take it out and down that bitch whenever my assistants and secretaries would leave the room, but let's keep that low key. Y'all motherfuckers don't have any good taste in anything. You don't know anything about my honest tea. I love that drink so much to the point where they even sponsored me, and now I have a lifetime supply of it. Honest tea? What kind of drink name is that? Sounds like some type of shit Abraham Lincoln would drink so he'd never tell a lie. Tea is really refreshing, but I think I drink too much of it since I can't stay awake for more than 30 minutes at a time. On the topic of drinks, let's go over our favorite and least favorite sodas. I'm down, bro, but we have to get Wiz Khalifa in here since I promised him we'd chill in VC together to do this. Of course you're friends with potheads. Where is that hooligan anyways? Hurry up and get him in here so we can start this tier list. I don't know where he is, but I gave him perms to join the VC anytime he wants. So let's just start this right now. So what do you gentlemen think about Pepsi then? Only if it's Diet Cherry Vanilla Pepsi. Shut then. up, Georgia. I think you're getting dementia like Sleepy Joe since you're forgetting Coca-Cola exists. Pepsi is a good soda, but definitely not as good tasting like Coke. Pepsi is only better than Coke when it's the Cherry Pepsi and no George. Not that gross-ass concoction of a flavor you like. Don't knock it till you try it, loser, but whatever, let's put Pepsi at the good tier. Sprite over here is easily one of the greatest drinks, period. That lemon-lime flavor combination reminds me of those times back in Hawaii when we'd hotbox the Chum Wagon. The hell is a Chum Wagon? Sounds like Thomas the Choo Choo Train sped cousin. No fat ass, it was our car we had back in the day. It was a Volkswagen bus that we did the craziest shit in. I remember this one time we were racing this Toyota on a fucking volcano and the Toyota lost control swerving off the cliff. And yeah, it was a tragic day, but nonetheless, that shit should be a car in Mario Kart. Holy crap, Barack. Rip to those fallen warriors right there. Brave men racing on a damn volcano. Yeah, it's tragic unlike the taste of Sprite. So let's put Sprite at God tier. Yo, what's up, fellas? How we doing on this fine ass day? Oh, shit. What's up, broski? We just started ranking these sodas. You're just in time. Bet, man. And don't they call that shit pop over in the UK and Canada? Or am I tripping? Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. It's kind of weird since... That's what my grandchildren call me. <laughs> What's up, Pops? Did you take your Viagra pills yet? I have, you know, that it actually works down there even 80 years later, and I've piped down Melania countless times right here in the Oval Office on this very desk. I have my gaming setup the on. What did you say about her, you old shit? <laughs> yeah, all n****s are funny, but Loki Melania is kind of bad, bro. Not even gonna lie, those foreign shoddies can get it. I'm with my n****** whiz on this one. Whenever Michelle ain't riding on this Volkswagen, she's Drake's and I's sneaky link. Don't tell him, but the other night ago, Melania was my sneaky link. We drank and Netflix and chilled, if you know what I mean. Melania? No way, really? Melania. No shot, Drake. Melania? Why am I hearing Melania's name? Who's talking about her? Unmute Drake, you cry, baby. Whatever. 
fine. Now, what did you say about Melania? Aubrey. Yeah, I'm definitely not telling you now, loser. What in tarnation? We're all too old to be acting like a teenager. Keep talking down on Melania and I'll call in an AC-130 to your house. Ooh, don't get me started on Ivanka. Shawty looks like she can Shut get... Shut up, pothead. All right, we need to stop slacking and rank Coca-Cola. This is easily God-tier boys' thoughts. Oh, uh, 100%, bro. I always bring a two-liter of Coke to the stew. You can never go wrong with Coke. Coca-Cola is iconic and easily the most recognizable drink in the Surprisingly, world. Surprisingly, Coca-Cola is older than me. That shit was founded in 18. 18- 92, back when Benjamin Harrison's old ass was president. Too bad he died in 1901 and wasn't able to make it in this Discord call with us. Benjamin Harrison definitely wore diapers like you, Biden, but back then they put Coke inside of Coke, so I'm sure you and your son Hunter are jealous of that. Anyways, I'm putting Coca-Cola at God tier, and Mountain Dew is our next drink. Now Mountain Dew is a classic one for us gamers. You always gotta have a can of Mountain Dew and bag of Doritos on deck while you play Warzone with the boys. Hell yeah, whiz, you f*** with Warzone, bro. I was a movement god on Rebirth Island, breaking kids' ankles on a daily. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, man, I was top 50 on Rebirth Island going Going crazy with the car and well gun. Damn nigga top 50? I was only top 100, but good shit. Shut up about your brainwashing video games, you incoherent fuck. Mountain Dew is perfect, especially when you let it sit in the freezer for 30 minutes, turning it into a slushy. Even though it's too sugary for me, I say it's a god tier soda. Ooh, we have one of my personal go to's. A and W root beer, this is insanely good with vanilla ice cream making those root beer floats. Oh, now I want one of those, bro. That'll hit the spot since I'm faded as a bitch right now. <laughs> Melania makes the best root beer floats using that soda. But thing is, it's only good with ice cream and tastes like ass without I it. agree with Donald for once on that. Let's put it at the mid-tier. Uh, what's the next soda? We got uh, Orange Crush, right? Um, not gonna lie, this one's very underrated and it doesn't taste like any other soda out there. I bring a shit ton of Orange Crush to birthday parties and get-togethers since it's a soda you can't go wrong you with. must be as high as mr wiz khalifa over here because that soda tastes like expired children's nyquil you're definitely tweaking donnie i don't know anyone who hates on this soda the taste of orange is recognizable on this one uh, all right i'm putting this on the good tier because fuck what trump says have some respect cameron haha <laughs> what an ugly ass name that doesn't even suit you the fuck did you just call me nigga Listen here, Donald the fucking duck. Your skin is the same color as that orange crush. And the only reason why Melania is with you is because she feels bad that you can't get any bitches. I also saw on TMZ how a fat ass was having trouble lifting a cup of water. For a billionaire, you'd think you'd be good with money. But this motherfucker didn't even pay his taxes and lost $16 million from all your goofy ass real estate businesses. And don't even get me started on uh, the 20 plus woman who accused you of I think I have to call 911 and report a homicide because goddamn you just put him six feet under <laughs> I am proud of you that's why I f- with bro I hadn't seen that much disrespect since those kids in 1952 bullied me about my stutter back in school I haven't seen that much disrespect since that one time my private chef decided to serve me disgusting ass broccoli with my medium rare top sirloin steak Imagine not knowing I despise broccoli. Imagine not making another hit song since Black and Yellow. What a washed up mumble rapper you are, Cameron, Jabril, Tomez. Ha ha. Wait, where did he go? Uh, I disconnected him. I'm not trying to hear it or give my energy to argue with him. I shouldn't have lashed out on him, but he's just killing the vibe, man. Understandable, man. He really can be stubborn sometimes, and I'm surprised you even joined the VC with him in it. It's all good. I can't really hang out with just one of y'all since you guys usually just chill together. Wait, uh, why hasn't he joined back yet? Oh, since Obama gave me perms, I took away his roles to join this VC. Pretty smart, huh? Respect. Let's just do the rest of the tier list without him. So we got Grape Fanta next, and this flavor is goaded. Again, it's on the sugary side and tastes too much like candy for me. I bring this one to barbecues all the time, and I don't see anyone grabbing this one as much as Orange Crush. I'm surprised y'all don't like this one. It's a good ass soda, but I guess let's put it at mid then. Dr. Pepper is easily one of the best sodas out there. The taste of this one is unique, and it's my go-to drink for Super Bowl Sunday. I actually can tolerate this soda more than most. The taste is like something you wish to relive for the first time. Definitely an easy W right here, gentlemen. This is the soda of choice for my secret servicemen, so I'm putting it at God tier. Now, seven up here is a poor man's Sprite in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, this one don't hit the same like Sprite do, but if it's there, I'll definitely drink it. I agree, this one doesn't come close to Sprite. It's like that one sibling or friend that tries to copy everything you do. Like the clothes you wear, music you listen to, and the way you talk, but miserably fails. Mid-tier, it is then for seven up, boys. Next up, we have a fucking classic here. I know Wiz is going to fuck with this soda. Mountain Dew Voltage. (laughs) You know me too well, Mr. Obama. Of course, this soda is gas. This is by far the best Mountain Dew flavor, 100%. As a matter of fact, I think we should do a Mountain Dew tier list sometime. But without Trump, 
<laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to that whiz. We can invite Drake again to replace Trump for that tier list, but this flavor is too damn good for my old ass. I can't handle this one, boys. Whoa, whoa, replacing Trump? Even though he can be an absolute moron, I think he adds something to our group here, you know? It's not feeling the same without him right now, to be honest. Yeah, I feel that, Georgie. But uh, right now, just for today, since Mr. Khalifa is here, he's going to be gone. And Donald has to learn his lesson since he's been disrespectful to our previous guests lately. No, no, it's cool, man. I don't want to come in between y'all's friendships and shit. But I appreciate you, Obama. You're a real one. Of course, bro, I got you. But God tier it is obviously with Mountain Dew Voltage. Damn, someone's getting hyped up for some soda. <laughs> <laughs> I just fuck with your energy, bro. You're getting me all hyped up, feeling like I'm in my 20s again. Damn, get you a friend like Wiz Khalifa over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it, boys. But we got Wild Cherry Pepsi to rank now. And this one's phenomenal. Uh, the mix of cherry and cola is just perfect. It's an easy God tier for me. I agree, Barack. This never gets old. Now, what in God's name is Squirt? What kind of soda name is this? Uh, uh, it's basically a more sour tasting Sprite, I guess. I don't really know how to describe it, to be honest, but it's all right. But mid at best. Actually, I think it's an awful soda. You never see this one sold out in grocery stores. Yeah, all my grandchildren don't like this soda. They always spit it out. Damn, that's tragic. I guess it's going to the awful tier then. But gentlemen, we have Barks Root Beer next, and I think this is the best root beer out there. I want to agree with you on this one, but I, I don't know anyone out there personally that's favorite soda is this. I didn't even know this soda existed to be fair, but I think we should have the comments decide the fate of this soda. Good thinking, Joe. Good thinking. So that's what the entire tier list pretty much. I think we did a good job. Yeah, that's it right there. And Donnie doesn't get to see it, unfortunately. Let me just drag him in here and show him real no, fast. No, 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 no. What the hell? I've been waiting in the VC below to get dragged this entire time. Um, peace. Oh, what the f- You know what I like more than money and woman? Fast food. Of course you do. That's why you're the third heaviest president out of 46 presidents we've had. <laughs> Donald and William Taft would have been best friends eating McDonald's 24-7. I have you know that McDonald's is a brilliant fast food chain. Big Macs and Filet-O fish sandwiches are absolute peak. Shut up, fat ass. You don't know real food like a good old Texas barbecue. Not gonna lie, bro. Texas barbecue fucking smacks. Stop yabbering about your yeehaw food and let's talk about fast food. We have work to do. We're gonna make another tier list, Donnie? Yes, Sleepy Joe. We're gonna rank these fast food places, proving McDonald's is the best of the best out of all of them. Hold on, boys, before we start. We have to let Joe in the VC. What do you mean I'm here? Yeah, dumbass. No, you fool. Joe Rogan, not Joe Biden. Who the fuck is that? Oh, that Joe. He's been emailing my assistants 24-7 about getting on his podcast. He just won't leave me alone. Rogan seems like a chill dude. I've listened to his podcast a handful of times and also remember seeing him on Fear Factor. Fear Factor was wild as fuck that show is gas, but I have to let him in here because when we were done doing our Gatorade tier list with Drake, he joined last second when all of you were gone, so Drake and I just dipped. Damn, so you left him in VC alone? That's pretty fucked up, man. I don't know the guy, but that really is fucked up, bro. Is that him waiting in the VC below us? Wow, you're leaving him alone again, Obama. What a dickhead. Shut up and keep it cool. I'm going to drag him in here, all right? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey there. How are you doing? I'm great, but I was so confused yesterday when Drake and Obama left me alone in VC. I've been wanting to have Drake on my podcast for the longest time. Well, maybe you shouldn't email our assistants all the damn time and you'd actually have the people you want on your podcast. God damn. That's gotta hurt. Chill out, bro. He just got here. Donald, I thought we were- Hold on right there, Baldy. Don't call me by my real name. Have some respect. I apologize, sir. I, I thought when we met at that UFC tournament, you had no problem with me. You said I was doing a great job with my podcast, and I even told you that you have regular sized hands because the media kept saying you had below average baby hands. Wait a second. That was you who I met that one day? Yeah, you don't remember? I should have took a damn selfie with you just so I can DM it to you on Discord to prove it was Actually, me. Actually, I recognize your voice. My apologies, Joe. Who said my name? Not you, Sleepy Joe. The other Joe who doesn't sleep all the damn time. You're all good, Mr. Trump. Don't worry about it. Actually, just call me Donald. Mr. Trump is fucking weird coming from you. Now that we're all cool, we have a fast food tier list to make. What do you boys think about in and out It's way too overhyped. People fly and drive across the country just to eat it, then be disappointed. Their burgers are a soggy mess like Biden's wife after I get done with her. Don't bring up Jill's name like that. Melania does a terrible job of giving your haircuts. Your hair looks like Garfield spat out a deformed hairball that you just put on your head to feel less insecure about yourself. Holy shit. Joe, I don't think you can come back from that one. He's definitely cooking all right. Little does Sleepy Joey know that I was the one who keyed his 1967 Corvette Stingray. No, bro, that's beyond fucked up. 
You can't just do that to a man's most valuable possession. That was a wedding gift from my father, you dick. Anyways, boys, we should put in and out at mid, since when you go there, you quite literally go in and out. Good choice. I agree. Solid pick. It deserves worse, but I'll take that. KFC is a classic. You can never go wrong with some fried chicken. I agree, bro. KFC fucking smacks. Back when I was a teenager, the Choom Gang and I used to roll up, get faded, then get three 12-piece buckets from KFC. Jesus Christ, man. That's a shit ton of chicken. How the hell did you all finish that? There is never too much chicken for Obama. Whoa, Donnie, you're pushing it right there. Chill out. Shut up, Donald. You know for a fact your fat ass would eat all 36 pieces of chicken in one setting. 36 pieces of chicken from KFC is just outlandish, but KFC is busting though. I agree. It's an easy family dinner that tastes wonderful. So let's put KFC at the good tier. Now we have McDonald's, the overall best fast food restaurant here that belongs at God tier. McDonald's is amazing because of the breakfast, the McGriddles with hash browns smack. I agree with you, Biden. Them hoes are phenomenal. I beg to differ on that one. McDonald's is too greasy and their ice cream machine is always broken. I fuck with the spicy chicken sandwich sandwiches and fries the most. See, Mr. Rogan McDonald's never misses. Lay off the chalk tasting protein powder smoothies and you'd actually enjoy McDonald's for once. It's going to God tier. Whatever, Donald, keep eating those Big Macs and soon you'll end up looking like Jabba the Hutt. That's uncalled for Mr. Clean looking ass. Just wait and see what happens later. As a matter of fact, take this bitch. What the hell, Donnie? Why'd you serve a deaf and mute Rogan? Yeah, I was f***ing with his vibe, man. He did nothing wrong. He needs to learn his lesson. He's not in control around here. I am. All I hear is crying and crying from your narcissistic ass. Cool it before I get the Discord mods on you. Yeah, you don't want me to ping them. They'll go ape shit on you and take your perms away. No, I need my perms so I have the power. Fine. You know what? I'll undeafen Rogan and tell him what I need to say, but still keep his ass muted so he doesn't talk over me. Hey, bald boy, did you learn your lesson yet or do you need to be kicked from my VC? Act up again and I'll kick you from the server. Got it? He can't speak back to you, dumbass. I'll unmute him. You know what, Trump? I didn't really mind you at first, but you're an actual Nimrod, you fuck. Face. Gentlemen, shut up and let's move on, all right? Taco Bell is next up and it's a W place, but always puts me on the toilet every time I go. Yeah, those quesaritos have me falling asleep on the toilet. Quesaritos, crunch wraps, Baja Blast, and those Cinnabon delights are where it's at. I really only get those power bowls with rice, beans, lettuce, tomato, and chicken since everything else there is chalked. You're actually tripping, Mr. Rogan. Whatever you've been smoking, I want to hit. Oh, you want to hit? It's DMT. I took a hit when I was waiting for you guys to drag me in here. It's actually been a transformative experience so far, uh, realizing that these fast food places are terrible. No wonder why your opinions have been all invalid. And by the way, DMT is fake news. I wouldn't say that. I've been on plenty of trips, and I'll tell you what, you'd be damned. Shut up, druggies. I'm putting Taco Bell at good tier. Sleepy Joe calling us druggies? How ironic, since him and his son probably know the most about that. Chill, Donnie. We gotta move on to Chick-fil-A now. This is an easy choice since the chicken sandwiches are goaded. You know what, I actually agree with Obama on this one. Um, the Oreo milkshakes are gas and the ice cream machine always works unlike McDonald's. I always look forward to the peppermint milkshake they have during Christmas time every year. The chicken nuggets with the Polynesian sauce is top tier. Nothing beats that sweet taste combination. The waffle fries easily puts this at God tier. Del Taco is the definition of living in the trenches. I don't know anyone who thinks this place is good at all. I've heard some crazy stories on what goes on in the back. You don't want to even know what rumors I've heard. Uh, I forgot this place existed, to be honest. And quite frankly, that's a good thing since it's dog shit. I threw up once after eating their fish tacos. They tasted good at first, but 20 minutes later, there was puke all over our $3,000 carpet. Wait, hold on a moment. Did you just say $3,000? Yeah. Did I stutter like you back in school, Joey? Sounds like more of a waste of money than Del Taco. This place shouldn't exist. It's a poor man's Taco Bell, and whoever's keeping it in business needs to consult my financial agent. I think we'd all rather lick the floor than eat at Del Taco. Jack in the Box is next up, and this is an easy pick for me. The curly fries and mini tacos are amazing here. Yeah, this time the tacos here actually didn't make me puke. Jack in the Box never misses. You can't forget the late night munchie meals. I have Melania drive me here every night at 3 a.m. just to get those. Jack in the Box is underrated in my books. It deserves more credit than what people give it. Let's put it at the godly tier. Wendy's is next up, fellas. What? I said Wendy's is next up, you old bag. Wendy's nuts in your face. <laughs> There's no shot. You said that Joe and what the fuck? 
was that laugh, you gremlin? Are you 12 or something? You're a grown man that's 80 years old. Come on now. Hey, man, I thought it was funny. Me too, to be honest. Trump deserved that. All of you shut up. Wendy's is top notch, but not as good as McDonald's. The Baconator is the best part about Wendy's, aside from the vanilla Frosties. Spicy nuggets are amazing if you guys haven't tried them. I say we put Wendy's at the good tier. Carl's Jr. is pretty forgetful. I, I can't even name five items from this place. The only item I know are those star nuggies. Really, nigga, nuggies? Seriously, bro, grow a pair. What, Obama, you don't like the star nuggies or what? Bro. And I thought I was the child here. I never really had this place much, so I'm just going to put it on the awful tier. Now, Arby's is a disgrace to any fast food out there. People with no brain cells are still bringing business to this horrific establishment. So you are? Cool it, Rogan. We're almost done here. Arby's ain't that bad, guys. People crap on this place too much or say it's bad because everyone else says it's bad. I would rather lick the floor of Trump's bathroom than eat at Arby's. Finally, we have Burger King, fellas. There's not one thing from their menu I like and not one thing that tastes better compared to McDonald's. Burger King is lame, and the only cool thing about it were those Burger King games back on the Xbox 360. Funny thing is that I know what game you're exactly talking about. A Burger King game, huh? Yeah, you guys missed out, but funny how the games were better than the actual fast food place itself. Burger King is fake news and awful. So that's the entire tier list, and I think it's a pretty solid one. Well done, gentlemen. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Rogan. You're actually not half bad, and if you want me on your podcast, I'm down, bro. I appreciate you, Barack. It was nice meeting you all, but I have a podcast with Kim Kardashian in a half an hour, so I'll catch you all some other time. Tell Kim I said hi and give her my number. Leave Kim Kardashian alone. You know how things ended up with Stormy Daniels. It was damn worth it, though. I gotta go, boys. It's time for my daily nap. I have a meeting to attend with Hillary, so deuces. I'll catch your orange ass later, Trump. Be nice to our guests next time. Yo, what's good, homies? Oh, Lord, now we have two potheads in this VC. Yo, what's good, Wiz? We were actually about to dip right now, but come chill with us tomorrow. We're going to rank sodas in a tier list. Hell yeah, bro, I'm down to do that. I'll see you boys tomorrow then. Well, I appreciate you for watching, and make sure you subscribe and like the video for more content like this.